There we go. And open up my. Did you, get, did you get to the videos on Tracy's art challenge, Colleen? I did. I haven't done any of them. I left it open. I didn't. I decided not to close it since uh, I have trouble getting into it. I decided. Well, it, it took me all week to get used to it, but then I finally was able to find everything. It's fun because it's. Um, she just does a little bit every day, so it's easy to keep up with. Why is my iPad weird? Why is my iPad weird? Hold on. Let me figure out why my iPad's weird. Hey, Tom. Yeah. I figure out why my yeah. iPad's so dark. I don't worry. My iPad dark? Yeah. Okay. There's a, it works like the phone. No, I have it all the way up. Oh, weird. Yeah, let's see how dark it is. I've had, I've had that happen periodically. I usually so do the, watch. Hi, everybody. If you slide up or slide down here, what is it? Here, we do this. It is all the way up. <clears throat> hey, Jersey, Eileen, Kilburn, Candy, Carla, Devin. Wow, everybody's here early this morning. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Carla. Thanks for coming over for uh, coming over from Mary the bus with Mary, I should say. I appreciate that. She was up early enough to turn on. She's on. I have some happy mail from Laura. Oh, fun! And we're going to do napkin journaling today. So I have a couple things already picked out. Uh, is that girl a napkin, Colleen? Yeah, that's one of the ones from Nikki. That's awesome. Oh, there's my camera. <laughs> I'm going to use my zippers from my yard sale finds. Oh, fun. I'm going to try using the zippers so we can have them like coming out of the zipper. And I'm going to use the Michelle, uh, Michelle's papers. Hey, Norma. Hi, Helen. Devin, okay, Devin, if you want to go ahead and release it now, that'd be great. Give people motivation who haven't started yet. Yay, you have your camera and everything now. Ooh, she finished her tags and she wants to know if she should wait to release the video. I say release it now to give everybody inspiration. For sure, you don't have to wait. Teresa asked that too, that's really nice. Yeah, and then she posted, she posted on Facebook and she posted on Twitter. She posted on Facebook. And she posted on Twitter too. Oh, on Twitter too? Oh, okay, cool. Yay, Devin. Snaps and threads. So she's going to make me do. You know, I'm not stitching. I'm not <laughs> stitching today. Hi, <laughs> Malia. How you doing, Norma? I'm glad to see you. Hey, Deborah. Yeah, it's okay. good to see everybody today. I'm bright. Kind of bright and early. For real? You don't want me to open it live? Oh, come on. I will if you don't want me to. Well, open it up after. Oh, she gets shy. Stop it. Just oh, open geez. it, Colleen. Okay. <laughs> oh my okay. She'll open it off to the side and then she'll slide everything over else. <laughs> I got, yeah, I flipped it over. Just yeah. little peaks. Oh, oh dear, Andrew. Hey, Gail. And you have the snaps and thread. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Deb. I took her literally. <laughs> That's how I am. Hey, Gail, are you in the are you in the tag swap or was that another Gail? I want to if it's you. I want to make sure I get the information to you. I think it was this Gail. It's this Gail. I sure. think it was too, but then I put Gail D. So email me, Gail, so I can send you uh, all the information. Oh, she's a goofy. Oh, here, let me get over here. Oh, okay, so she's be some happy mail. So, oh, thanks. She shared, she shared some ledger paper with me. Thank you. Oh, look, she put it in here, so I'll get all bent up. Ain't that clever? That's a clever way to ship it. That way, it didn't get bent up. Thank you. 
Should be some ledger paper. I should probably my key. I should probably make myself big too. Oop. This way. Ooh, oh, our ledger. Um. Wait a minute. Let me look. Oh, it is. I should read it. Oh, how cool is that? Oh, occupation, <laughs> occupation farmer. <laughs> hey, he's from Ohio too. That's not too far. Oh my gosh. Lodge number. Yeah, neat. Thank you, Jersey. Oh, that's perfect. It is perfect. I'm gonna add this to my average, uh, uh, like a farm drawer per se of uh, farm stuff. Oh, I love it. Thank you. The farm ledger. How cool is that? Yeah, and you're getting ready to do one, aren't you, Colleen? With you've been collecting stuff for one. I have been collecting stuff. You can't forget. It. There's some sort of update oh. they said yesterday. They're going to do overnight. It said sometimes if, if a software crash can lead to that. <sighs> so then the best thing to do is just restart it because there is. I, I want to see how it looks better. Because they did say they were going to put a software update in overnight. So it must have made it crash. But you got to key your passcode in. Thanks. Or use your thumb. Yeah, Devin, what type of, um, what type of web? You must have somebody else's thumb. There you go. Is that brighter? <laughs> That's much better. Thank you. I was like, darn it. I haven't had this very long. I like my iPad. I, no. I hear that. Too. It also can get affected by bright light. At first, I was wondering if it was nah. because of your. No, it can. It, it'll see, like, now if I scroll down, you can do, you can turn it up or down. Well, but we had it all the way up. And then there's like some sort of nighttime setting. And then you could, there's also a dark mode and a light mode. Like, if you wanted black on white or white on black. Oh, I've never done that. I would never do that. Okay. That makes that's doesn't make any sense. Right. That was slightly challenging. <laughs> Eileen said Apple products are so bad. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> yeah, and ask Eileen what type of phone she has. <laughs> <laughs> it was a Logitech, but it didn't work with the newest capture app. That's weird. They're usually really easy to, to, to load up. Like they grab the software. Like Logitech's usually easy. I still have the, I have the, the Apple truck napkin for you. Can't find it. Oh, that's okay. And she says some burlap goes with the farm theme and some denim. She knows I like denim. What'd you say? I lost my drink. You lost your drink? I distracted well, you with the iPad. Probably in the office. Or office in the office. I was down there when you called me up. Oh, I see it now. It's like. <laughs> no, you've been around me too long. You're losing stuff. I know. <laughs> That's what happens with COVID. <laughs> I've been around Colin long enough to think I've lost my mind. <laughs> Photography by Diane at Shaw Crafty One YouTube. My old darn board. My old barn door Etsy. Oh, oh cool. Oh, look at that. Isn't that neat? Well, I gotta be checking out my old barn door Etsy. There you go. Oh, that's cool. Thank you. I didn't know that even. I didn't know about hers. She sent me some wallpaper. She doesn't like wallpaper. Whole tub of it. Oh, there you go. She sent me some chickens. <laughs> Those are perfect. <laughs> Thank you. These are be good. I'm gonna add all these to my my drawer. Oh, look at the barn postcard. That's cute. In the old house. Oh, it's not, I don't think that the barn is part of the house, I guess, but. Oh, there's an outhouse. <laughs> <laughs> there's the barn back here. There's the outhouse attached to whatever this is. This is a nice one. 
that would have been nice back in the day, man. That's a big, that's a big, that's like they added on and they added on and they added on. It's like they kept adding on. Uh, is Jersey not feeling good? Do I miss something? Um, no, I think she told Eileen she liked her Apple products, and Eileen told her to take an aspirin. Oh, <laughs> I think. Okay, good. Oh, our mouth hurts from the. Um, oh, your mouth. Okay. From the stuff. I had a root canal done um, about three, four weeks ago. Yeah. And you had two done. I can't imagine getting two done in a day. Uh, I am um, a dentist. I, uh, I need to go to the dentist. And I don't want to. Mine actually, because my mouth is pretty small. And mine funny. just hurts for days because they have to keep it open so wide. It, oh, I hate it. Yep, I have the same problem. Small mouth and, and uh, it's always the back teeth, of course. And uh, yeah, and it kills you. Your, your jaw hurts. Like right. Your jaws ache afterwards. Yeah. Right. It hurts more from keeping your mouth open than the actual root canal. Canadian. I like this. You see that Canadian bacon? Canadian that cool chicken. Stuff. This is really neat. This is super cool deli paper. I don't have anything like this. Okay. Molly has a small mouth too. And my wisdom. I know. Oh, wow. Her wisdom teeth cracked. Next. Ugh. I can't believe you have your wisdom teeth still. You have a small mouth too. Your teeth cracked. The teeth next to them cracked. Oh God, poor Laura. Uh, that's why I had this tooth cracked. I had to get a root canal. Except this didn't work. I was going to get pulled and get an implant. And I was like, no. And one, I've had multiple implants, and that's not comfortable and very expensive. Okay, so I got oh, them removed in your 20s. Yeah, but still, that's enough time for them to come through. And ugh. So my daughter has two, my oldest has two of her wisdom teeth still. And I have, um, all mine was removed. And then my youngest, um, I think hers got removed. Katie has two of hers because the other two were, were coming in straight. Tom has some of his wisdom teeth that didn't need to come out because they came in straight. And so she took after him. And I think she mostly took after him in regards to getting his teeth laid. She was really slow to get her teeth. Look at this. Oh, is that cute? And it took her so long to get her permanent teeth so we could get her braces. Because they wouldn't do it because she needed them really bad. And, and she couldn't get her permanent braces till she got all her teeth. And it took forever. And my youngest daughter was in braces than a year of her, and she was four years younger. Oh my gosh, this is so, so pretty. pretty. Did you make did you make this? Look how pretty this is. Look at these. We need to get Laura on one day and oh, make she some wrapped it with this with the, uh, this fun thread. Don't you think, Colleen? We need to have Laura on to make some some boho beads and some dangles and I can tell you, I, Look at this. I can tell you I don't have the pretty beads that she has. Oh, those are gorgeous. Look at that. I definitely do not have these beautiful beads that she has. Look at these. It's all in pink. Don't look, Eileen. It's all in pink. It's all mine. I like how that threads wrap through there. Yeah, I do too. You did make that. Oh, that's so pretty. Have Laura on do some things. Yeah, we need to have Laura on when she's feeling good. Yeah, when you when you're done with all this dentist stuff, Laura, you'll have to come on because I've been I've been trying to collect some beads. I don't have as many pretty ones. Aw. Isn't that pretty? 
I love oh my it. gosh, that reminds me. Did you see those buttons that Kathy Arbor got? Yes. Those I were had, awesome. They were so pretty. I have some Prima painted buttons, but, um, but not like that many. You know, there's like right. packets on my Tuesday mornings I bought one time. Oh, those are so pretty. I had to buy those. Look at this. Remember she was online making a bunch of flowers? One day she just like was making like like a ton of flowers. Look how cute this is. I love these. Oh, I do wow. too. It's so cute and so simple. And I mean, it could be, and it's pretty flat too. You can see, I mean, how flat it is. This could go uh -huh. on a journal page really easy. Our card. Our tag, doing the tag swap, is pretty flat. Or it can go on the end of a snippet. Our end of a snippet. Yeah, these are pretty flat. This would be a great embellishment for a tag. Oh, yeah. Because look at that. I can't believe ever how flat this is. It's dimensional, but it's flat because of how she staggered the papers and the different patterns. Love it. <laughs> you glue them and Eileen better look away. She shared some lace with me. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, nice. Again, this would be a fun embellishment. Oh, oh, Rick Rack. I like Rick Rack. I don't think I actually have cream. Mine are mostly all colored. So some cream Rick Rack. Oh, look at this lace she sent. This is very nice. This is expensive thank you so oh, much that's pretty that's on linen this is really pretty this will look great um this all will look, will look so good on the farm book yeah i have Laura this finds really cool lace and stuff she does. Like she does have a good eye like when i see her buying something at auction i'm like i should probably buy that because <laughs> she is oh, i um, love that Oh, look at this. Thank you. She shared a quilt square with me. Thank you. You can dye all that with spray. Uh, but I love the cream matches this. So I don't think I will because the cream matches this. So I like making a tag in my head with that, like a purple background with the Rick Rack around the bottom. I have like it all made in my head already. <laughs> yeah, it all matches. I don't want. I don't want to spray that. I'm gonna put my YouTube on over here so I can see chat over here. That's why I was getting it out again, with so I can I have two places to watch here, so. chat. All right, now mute myself. Okay. <laughs> to have it, to have right. the buttons too. Look at this. This is really cute. She really put this together with a lot of thought, and I and and I really appreciate that. She put some time and thought into this. Look how cute she decorated. Here's it. See, this is really be fun. See, this would be what we would exchange. Just a strip of fabric like this. Yes. And how, and like she said, how fun is this? And I could roll this up and make a snippet with this. This is what we're talking about. Is just just sharing pieces of fabric like this. She gave me some tickets. Cute little card. Monopoly money. I love all this. Just all the stuff she puts in her um, in her journals. It always looks so cute. She makes everything look cute when she puts them in her daily journal. And that oh, I see a good chicken coming up. A few snippets of my favorite, oh, favorite vintage fabrics. Oh, oh, it's from a quilt. It's like it was taken off the top of a quilt. Oh, pretty. That's really pretty. Oh, thank you for sharing that. Her favorite vintage fabrics. <laughs> Don't worry, Eileen. It won't be 150 strips. Oh, look at this. Love it. I lean. Sheesh. It'll be, I, I have a feeling it's going to be for, I bet, I bet we're going to have about 40 people in yes. the swap. So we'll each, if everybody sends in 40 strips, we'll get 40 different strips back. We have a 24 now. Okay. And there has been people, I've got a few to add, Colleen, that have sent me emails and stuff. Okay. 
So uh, thank, this is key. Hi, Jane. Hi, everybody. I missed. I love this rooster napkin. It's got a bingo card. Hey, Kathy just ordered some of these, I think. I did. I did. I think they may be coming today. Flash card. There's four of my family. I like that. Postcard. Oh, that's cute. It has, it has the ledger type handwriting on there. About an inch wide and 12 inches long. Isn't that what we decided, Colleen? Like yeah. An inch to two inches wide. One yeah. to two inches wide and 12 inches long. Yeah. So cute. we get varying sizes. Yeah. So this one is... This one is nine and a half by one to so get an idea. Yeah. Just to make a nice snippet. I might be able to use one of my new wood buttons when it comes. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, you ordered them already? I need to I, I did order those. I shouldn't have. I've spent so much. Okay. Smell the roses. That's cute. That'd be cute to cut out. And I like this would be this would be fun to draw. And she said, "Be my country bag." Look at her. And I saw this, and she's streaming. She was packing up goodies for the sale. I was like, "Oh man, I need that bag in my life." <laughs> I love this. Thank you. I love this. Thank you for sharing this. And she had this out. Eileen's like, Holly needs that bag. <laughs> oh, and she's got stuff inside it. It's filled. It's filled. Oh, wow. Cool. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. There's all kinds of stuff in here. It's so thoughtful. I really appreciate it. There's a gla little glassing bag. Oh, it's one of her pockets she made. I tried making mine. It didn't look near as good as hers. So she put the tissue on there. Oh, look. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I love that. Anybody see that? Yeah. Oh, cute. Little uh, the peacock feather. Oh, I love how she, yeah, she took all these pieces and gathered them up and glued them all together. Like a cluster. Oh, that looks so cute. And and look, there. Oh, this is cute. Look, there's a there's a cup. You know where, where would be a cute place to keep that, Colleen? Is in the pocket that Kimberly made. Oh. Like a pocket in a pocket. It would be a pocket in a pocket. Glass. Oh, look at this. This is so sweet of her. Oh, I don't have any like this. This is this is fun. This is a different kind of coin holder thing. Ooh, she sent me money. You seen it here? Money, 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 money. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's neat. It's a train ticket. Oh, that's cool. Thank you. Oh. Wait a minute. This one's stuck. Hold on. There you go. And she's oh look how look how cute she is. See how she wraps the 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 gold thread around the fabric. I like that. At the top. It just adds that little bit extra. It's like a bow. It's like a little bow tie. I would not thought to use that. I have gold thread that I got from Teresa. I like that she used that. Okay, Gail. Now, and then she stitched, looks like she did some sewing. She stitched this on here. I like how you did that. That's cute fabric. And she pieced this together. I love the stuff you do, Laura. Honestly, I really do. You have your own style, and I think you're really creative. This is all, oh, this is full. Oh, oh, look at she made. She added a tip in. Oh, cute. She made a tip in pocket. Using a guest check. Stickers. Oh, it's like a slide. Oh, look how she, see how she folded that? See how I like this. See how she did it? Because I love how she 
puts everything together. All of the mini flashcards. Cute. I love how she comes up with all these little snippets and it looks so good together. And then she then she did the same thing with a flip down. Cute. All with this just a just a guest check thing um, and tape. And then fold it over and then it's like a little another uh, little pocket. And that's so cute. And this one, she added this. She added another tip in. She added this. Hello, the '80s. The '80s is when I grew up. <laughs> Perfect. I, I like the '70s, but I actually grew up in the '80s. So I was I was really young in the '70s. Let's put it that way. But I do remember a lot of the stuff in the '70s. With my brother, because he was older than me, and there's a um, I think of what it's called. Uh, from the kits, Dee used to buy those for scrapbooking. Oh, the um, oh, I just saw some yesterday at Tuesday morning. Yeah, uh, I'm at loss at words. I'm at loss at words. Oh my gosh, I can picture them. I have them here. <laughs> I can't think of what they're called either. This is clever. Okay, this is clever because you can take all these little strips of paper and add these to tags and add these to your collages. And I like this because you cut up the words. And hey, I agree, Molly. I've been uh, listening to a lot of 70s music lately. Oh, that's cute. Get me a sticker, the best. I get you lots of acetate on it. It's like if I want to put it somewhere. And she be oh, I love her. Oh, this is cute. Ooh, I like this. Isn't this pretty? I love these threads. Oh, we got this one, but I love this with these. It's orange, blue, and green. Look, Eileen, it's your favorite color. Orange. Okay, these. What are these called? Hi, <laughs> Kimberly. <laughs> It's going to do forever. <laughs> Someone's walking their dog. Oh, I love these. I love these. Look, Eileen. It even adds a little turquoise, my favorite. Blue, green, like a turquoise. This is literally your favorite colors. Oh, my gosh. I need, I need, like, this. I'm Usually, they're not, they're usually like this. I'm not seeing them like this. So, it's like rope oh she shared this with me thank you she shared a card catalog with me you're sweet as sugar let's see if tom agrees with that <laughs> look at this this is cool i love how you did this i watched a stream where you were packing these in hey that one's not in there i loved how you did these I love the little tip ins. Oh, that's right. Some of this was in here. That's why it's not working. See, I can't even put it back in right. She had it so coolly put in here. And there's another 80s. Shall I test you guys from the 80s? Let's see, one you might know. What cereal could you buy to get a secret decoder pen in it in 1988? Oh my gosh, who would know this? Secret decoder. I'm so bad at this game. Um, I'm trying to think. That's was. At, I don't know. I was living in Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. Okay, that one was Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Okay, this one everybody should know. What movie features a DeLorean and a license plate out of time? Back to the Future. <laughs> Back to the Future. Okay, that was FedEx. Never mind. I thought they were there barking. I thought that was a someone walking her dog. And more cream. I love how she ties all this stuff with like the Rick Rack, and I can use every bit of it. Look at all that stuff. That'd be fun. Can add this for some texture. Oh, look at this lace. Holy moly, it's pretty. It's got pearls. Oh my God. 
It's so um, good. Oh, that's beautiful. Look how delicate that is. Oh, that's so pretty. That's so sweet of you to share all this. Oh, and she made a pocket. I bet she doesn't even have the pocket cutter, Eileen. She made and she made pockets. Oh my gosh, Kimberly, you're getting the hurricane, but it's coming from the other direction this time. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at it. That's cool. Really? Isn't that weird? That well, is you're getting it. You're getting part of it too, aren't you, Colleen? Um I if it is today, it's barely any. So I would oh, think good. the biggest chance we have for rain is Monday. I wonder if it isn't going to come in until Monday here. I wonder if it's going to, because it's coming around like this before it hits Kentucky. So I'm thinking maybe, I think Monday and Tuesday we got big chances of rain. So I'm thinking it's going to be Monday, which means it's a slow moving tropical storm hurricane which is worse because uh they were saying in the Ohio valley we're going to flooding i don't live in a flood area but i know people who do i love how you took this and cut this and wrap this with is it burlap fabric it's some sort of fabric burlapy fabric like it's soft though it's not rough like burlap that's pretty and then she wrapped a piece of fabric look at that oh that is pretty yeah, I'll, I think you literally use the tags just how they are. Just how they are. They're perfect. Thank you. I'm loving all these. I love all these nooks and crannies and pockets and doodads. I love well, it. Well, I am glad Laura and Peggy are like the two tag queens. They are. Look at that. Wow. <sighs> Oh, look at that fabric. Holy, look at that. Hey, Laura, is that not, did you get that from Safia? That's is that incredible. Safia fabric? It could be. It's beautiful. It looks like it might be. Oh, that was hand done by somebody. Oh, my God. Hey, Tanya. Wow. That's so pretty. Eileen stripper fabric. <laughs> oh, Eileen. She's so bad. And look, Eileen, I'm going to leave all the pink on screen just for Eileen. <laughs> Torture. And I, pink. and I got, look, I got some pink. Yeah, right, this is pretty. This looks like this might have been dyed. That's pretty. I'm going to leave all the pink just for Eileen. Oh, that is pretty. That's so soft. And she made another tag, and she used little pockets and tape tidbits on there with some washi tape. Look how cute she does these with just little tidbits. Oh, this is cute. Little recipe cards taped together like this. How simple is this? She's so creative. She always says that she's just messing around, but honestly, her messing around is so creative. Some handmade paper, it looks like. And then she sent... The wallpaper, which I love. The plaids, the rooster. Okay, I gotta show you all the cookbook I got. Oh my! Look at that! Oh my god! Guys, when I picked up. Okay, so I got inspired by um, by Kimberly. It was showing all her cute journals that she makes. And she altered, hers was a garden, I think a garden book she altered. But I decided to get uh, this So Tuesday morning. It's a rooster recipe book. My Tuesday morning did not have that. I was so mad. Oh, uh, it's like, I, I saw the girl was like, oh, that's all that. I was right, working there. And she's like, oh, I missed something. Hello. Look, Eileen, more pennies. Working, working for you. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, more pink for you. Oh, this is pretty. This, I'm sorry, I got this in the shuffle. I love that. Oh, that's gorgeous. She cut that off. That's really, she really shared a lot of her uh, Etsy stuff and things she's bought and things she's made. 
I really appreciate it so much, Laura. Thank you for sharing everything with me. Okay, Laura wants to know if you ever watch Gina at the Read Bookery. No, she's on YouTube. Let me get her. Um, Gina the Read. Let me find her link. Hi, Dennis. How are you? No, I. Yeah, I've not. No, I've not watched her. So I got. I saw this and I was inspired by, like I said, Kimberly altered a garden book. And I was like, well, why can't I alter a recipe book, right? So inside it has. Oh, like, cool. I will post the link. This is cool, Colleen. Rooster pad. Okay. It has a little notepad on the left and then has, of course, Places for recipes, which obviously I'm just going to alter. But I was thinking about where's that postcard at? There is a postcard. Here I go. Uh, what size is that, Colleen? Is that 10 by 10? It is. Let's see, 10, 10 by 9. Well, it's about, well, actually, if you want to be. Exact. One notch before ten. <laughs> <laughs> By nine. <laughs> Whatever notch before ten is. That's a nice size. <laughs> and then what about inside? Is it so you would use let's see that okay, never mind. I'll just look. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Isn't it? Hi Joe. I'm gonna grab that link on my iPad. It's like and oh i'm not subscribed to her oh look at her cute stuff doesn't she have adorable stuff oh my god junk journal kids vintage farm ephemera oh lordy oh that's oh subscribe hello and all thank you laura deb has a huge three ring binder and it's her friend's book I love collecting stuff in binders. Go back to my own. Oh, okay. that's what. Hey, Colleen, at your Tuesday morning, did they have the little, the Tim binders, the smaller ones? I got those for, I think, $3. They have had them in the past, but they did not have any currently. Yeah, mine, that's the one thing mine had. <laughs> My kind of measuring, right, Laura? <laughs> You bought some stuff from Gina and loved her videos. Her name is Gina. Thank you. Wow, I didn't know. I didn't see know about that channel. There's the how do you like? There's so many awesome channels. I love that we all can share that. Bandit, you're scratching my leg. What do you want? Go get a toy and I'll play. You're scratching my leg. Okay. Even though I got his nails trimmed yesterday, they're still sharp when you're wearing <laughs> shorts. So anyway, it comes with basically um, kind of what you call index card pages and then a couple of those and or you get three and then you go into another section. So it's just filled with index card envelopes and tabs. So what I'm going to do is I'll paint and alter all the tabs that's in it and it's shiny. So definitely we'll have to uh, treat it like a magazine. But yeah, I mean, I'm just going to alter all the tabs. I might keep some of these and use these too because I could make some cards to slip in here. I have to figure that out. I just well, thought there's lots of stuff you can do with that. Also, Kimberly watches Gina too. Oh, she does? Yeah. She said she likes her videos. Oh, I didn't see. She knew. She knows about her. See, like the bingo card, that would slip in here. So. Good. Oh, fun. So I could leave this alone. Wait a minute. Or decorate it. Which way is it? This way. That fits in there. I could fit a lot of lore stuff in here. Look. The wallpaper, one of those wallpaper squares with the chicken on it. You could put paper on the back of it. Cute. See, slide this in on the back. I could put a whole bunch of her fun. stuff in here. Oh, this is neat. I actually just fell out the cover and I was like, I got it. I gotta have this. I debated and I like I don't like cooking. I don't like to cook, but I do love the art. So yeah, I thought I'll alter it. The girl thought I was gonna actually put recipes in it. 
<laughs> Poor girl. <laughs> she does not know you well, Colleen. She's she was she was like She's like, I like to get on and put all my mom's and my recipes in it. She has my grandma's and she has my great grandma's recipes. I want to like put them all in a book and then and do that. I'm like, you should do that. So I'm like, this one's gonna be altered. <laughs> okay, that one's gonna have to go somewhere else. So yeah, this would be fun. So I don't know how I'm gonna use it exactly now, but um, yeah, we'll figure it out once we get in there and start. But yeah, so I think Laura is right on track with uh, with this. I was inspired by Kimberly. Look, this will cover up this. See, and I and I even used restraint and I waited. Perfect. To open this and you guys know I don't have a lot of restraint, so. Hold on, I'm gonna need a bigger piece. I'm gonna cut this part off. So that'll go right there. And it's perfect. How about that? Meant to be. And glue her on. I'm gonna be Laura. I'll put it in the front though. Look at that. That's perfect. Isn't it? Hold on. Is this hard to flip back and forth? I will say that. Hold on. <laughs> Dab and restraint. What is that? What the heck is restraint? I'm going to put it right there. Rooster already has a home. Because it's meant to be. Yep, I just bought this and I was like, I'm gonna, I was so inspired. I saw her cute altered. She's a garden book. For all her, uh, I guess, Nick uh, collage and stuff that Kimberly does. And I was like, oh my God, that's so cute. And then I saw this and I was like, yep, it's all meant to be. Boom. There you go. <laughs> that's perfect. We're straight. I know, right? What is that? I love that. I love it. That's it's perfect on there. So my rooster's already already well loved. Look at it. So I'm gonna put all the other roosters on here. Oh look, she even put a little clip on there. Oh cute. Look, I go in here and my roosters. Oh, this is perfect. It's gonna be more perfect. Oh, you can put a bunch in there on those uh, dividers. Yeah, look at this. I have to mention all this denim you shared. I'm going to be using this to do the weird uh, shushy shoki <laughs> stitching <laughs> that we're going to do with rosemary. Shushy shoki. <laughs> I'll just say that. Eileen's going to make me snap the string. Good luck with that. Well, I'll do my best. I guess I'm going to have to learn, but I hate doing things like that on screen. Jersey says, girl, I'm glad you like it. Hmm. I do. It covers up the unnecessary part of the book. Who cares what breads are? The recipes. <laughs> it covers up the recipes perfectly for Colleen. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is, I can't believe it is. I, seriously. So I, I had no plans other than I'm going to alter these things and I'll add paper to it and. Shishiko, Devin. Shishiko, is that how you say it? Shishiko? Yeah. I'm like, D -d 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 I don't know. Here, I got, I did get a book. Ooh. Okay, sorry. I, I'm already like I'm already excited, and then I want to just glue her down. <laughs> I got a glue. Oh gosh, this is so perfect. At some point, you'll try dragging and dropping Kathy's box. Oh yeah, let me do that. I'll do that. Good idea. Let me do that. Yeah, because I'm thank you for reminding me that you can now do that stream here because we always hoped that we could put the guests larger. Okay, let me do that. 
Thank you, Laura, so much. This is so nice. Thank you for doing this. Look, I'm already putting the roosters to good use. Perfect for my book. I know, and I always think, like, what are people going to use this wallpaper for that they buy at the <laughs> sales? For her recipe book, of course. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> okay, so let's try that. Um, I'm going to drag you over, see how that works. Oh, oh. it works! Oh. <laughs> I'm so happy. Well, that's such an awesome feature. Thank you for adding that. Seriously. Yes, thank you, StreamYard. Thank oh. you, thank you. Yay, you can find my guest big. Woo, woo. I've been, I've been asking for this forever. I, can't, I keep asking the same thing over and over. I know. They're probably sick of us asking. Thank you. Thank you so much. Just shut up this artist. <laughs> Three yards in. Let's do this. Woohoo. That was fun. Thank you for reminding me. That was so fun. That was so easy. <laughs> Now, if we have like more than one person on, I can do that too. Yep. I can grab it and, and move it. Oh, that's Switch exciting. Around. I love it. Oh, I'm going to send them a thank you note. We should. We should thank them for adding these things and still keeping the price the same and adding these features too. So, yeah. We oh, should. and you know what, Colleen? I did upgrade to 1080 and I they still gave me a discount. And see, I didn't have a discount. Yeah. I missed, I, I didn't sign up soon enough. Yeah. So if you have the discount to begin with and you do upgrade to 1080, they'll give you the discounted price. Woohoo. Yeah. That's, that's really nice that they're doing yeah. that. So, yes, we'll have to, instead of complaining, I have to go over and thank them <laughs> instead of complaining. Oh. Okay, so Devin was asking, what is Shishiko? It's a Japanese stitching. And this is a book that I ordered. Shishiko Inspired Embroidery. Uh, projects to customize and repair textiles and decorate your home. By Jessica Marquis. And I haven't looked at this yet. Oh, this is really, I love that. That's really pretty. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we can still do half and half. Can we do that? Yeah, we can still do yeah. that. So it just goes through. Oh, look at that. Look at this coat. And Colleen, Colleen will be making this coat in her next stream. <laughs> 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 sure I am. Once she learns to snap the thread, boom. <laughs> boom, I'm doing it. And here's the thread. Yes, I did get the thread. Let me get the thread. Oh, here it is. Okay, I did. I got the needles and I did get the thread. It's a These are the needles. You get a scissors. Okay, so here's the thread. They have this on Amazon, and it is. It's it's softer than your regular embroidery thread. This is like snapping turtles. Snapping turtles. You want me to snap it? I can't. I haven't snapped. I forgot how to do it. I you don't have any. So you snap the thread so when you're sewing, it doesn't um, twist up. And I know, I think I used to do it for needlepoint, maybe. 
but you're supposed to do it for here. Let's see if it tells how to snap the thread in here. Okay, using Sashiko thread. Fabric. Mark making oh, okay. It says she makes patchwork bags. The Shishiko method. Oh, cool. Who does that? Nash. Oh, Nash. Oh. Yep. Oh, cool. Nash, you should post some uh post some pictures. Are are you on IG, Nash? All right, it show it go. Hi, CB. Yep, I got the threads. I got the needles too. And I like her in this little tube. Okay, because there's a lot of it goes into a lot of detail of how to do this. I just got the little po the handy pocket guide. Oh, okay is what i got which has some patterns in here all of the so it just goes over just the basics okay so here it shows different quilters knot looped knot so okay it goes into detail it doesn't say anything about snapping i'll have to look up a youtube video I don't know how to snap it. I like <laughs> let's, make, let's make Kathy do it. <laughs> okay. Snap it. If, if, if we snap the thread, I mean, you got to come on StreamYard and tell us how to do it so we don't have this back and forth delay. There you go. You need to come on with your camera off, and then and that way we have the, then you can go back off. Because the chat stuff drives you crazy because because of the lag. I know it's get, and when you're getting instructions, it's really hard. Oh my god, quilter's not. All right. I can't bitch. There she is. Perfect, Eileen. <laughs> Hey, Eileen. Perfect, Eileen. <laughs> All right. I'm getting my thread. Yay, Eileen. <laughs> Do you have sound? Uh, we can see you. If you're talking, we can't hear you. Yeah, we can see you, but we can't hear you. Oh, wait, I hear a TV. <laughs> Turn your TV off. <laughs> She's getting stuff adjusted. Okay, I'm undoing mine. We did it, Kelly. <laughs> she disappeared. I know. She okay. probably can. She get your TV off and get everything set. Okay. Maybe she's going to go pack on and then turn off her camera. I hope so. I hope she comes back because now, oh, I already screwed it up. I didn't get the end of my string. <laughs> Perfect, Kylie. <Perfect. Kylie. laughs> Seriously, how did she come up with that? Oh, my God. Right. Perfect, Eileen. She's I so know. Funny. Eileen will bring everybody out of the bleachers. Let's see. Is this where it's? I found a little knot where they have it together. All right, I'm cutting off a piece of string. I don't know if we do the whole thing or just a little piece. We'll wait for Eileen to come back. But you can't do I can't do the whole thing. It's something where you oh, I can't remember. Oh, okay, just a minute. <laughs> I almost said a pig just flew by her window. <laughs> <laughs> I left. Get me back in. I think he won. Do my pigs fly? <laughs> okay, is she back? Is she backstage? No, I'm here. No. 
I don't see her. Or hey, Ellie, it, click on the link again in uh, Twitter. Yeah, click on the link again. You can come and go the entire time. <laughs> oh, I think I'm remembering. Hold on. <laughs> You're out in the bleachers and had to come out to see Eileen. Perfect, Eileen. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this could have been the best. This is like the best timing ever for her to send me happy mail. I know it's perfect I mean, for that. It was literally perfect timing for me to get happy mail from Laura for with a barn theme. Seriously. And I just bought this book a couple days ago. I'm back, and they are ignoring me. We're not ignoring you. Are you? Is she not there, Eileen? I don't see you. Eileen, click on the link again in in Twitter. Yeah, you're not showing up. I promise, I'm not ignoring you. Try again. You poofed away. <laughs> HR, look at all the people coming out of the woodwork. Yeah, well, let's talk to Eileen. Can't have pasta dishes showing. Food, cooking, what's that? Yes, Kathy Arbor, you were not seeing things. That was Eileen. She's trying to get back in. Oh, Kimberly, you can send another invite for Paul. Oh, nice. I'm going to send another invite to you, Eileen. I'm going to put that, another invite in just to make sure. Looks yeah, good. or you could always put the link in chat. Let me do, yeah, I could do that. We do that. <laughs> Devin's happy to have the, the day off to witness this. Yes, Kimberly, Eileen. <laughs> They kick me did not kick you out. She disappeared. I didn't touch anything. I'm my like I'm here and my screen is way over there. So I didn't even touch it. Okay, so Eileen, all you have to do now is click on the uh click on the okay, link in chat. Is it showing up? Yeah. I don't see it. You see it on YouTube. Oh, yeah, there it is. I grabbed a link in YouTube. Yes, Kimberly, hell has frozen over and pigs are flying. <laughs> I wonder why can't she get back in? I don't know. I'm going to show you my screen. Do you see my screen? There, there's my screen. Yeah. And all there is is me and Kathy, and you would be right here if you were there, and you would be dark, and you're not showing up. Hey, Eileen, close everything up and then come back in. Yep. Close all, close all your YouTube stuff, and then press on the StreamYard link in Twitter. I'll leave us leave it there so you can, so I can see how this works. I love rabbit trails. <laughs> I love rabbit trails when it gets Eileen on. <laughs> this is like the ultimate rabbit trail. It is. That's what you need to uh 
title your stream, Colleen. These are going to make it in my book because, because she said these. I'll put that right there. So we'll see her pop up right here. Yeah. When she's there, guys. Oh, that is really close up view. The quilter's not. How cool is that? It is. It's really but it's cool. there she is. Now you can see you guys see her. Now she's there. So I click on her. Add the stream. Boom. Yay! <laughs> Woo -hoo! Hey, Eileen. She's out of time. <laughs> yeah, about time, Eileen. <laughs> okay, so I put a knot in this, and then what do I do? I pull it, I stick one end in my mouth, and then pull it all wow. to the knot. I didn't do anything. I was supposed to put it on a needle and then snap it. Now, I just did a regular knot. I didn't do this quilter's knot thing. I'm, get, I'm getting somebody is repeating Okay, mute YouTube. And then you'll hear us through StreamYard. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, cut a piece of thread. Okay, and put a knot in one end. You don't have to put a knot in it, but that's fine. Okay. Put right. one in one hand and, and, and put the other end in your other hand. Each end, okay. Okay, and pull it tight and put it up towards your mouth. Grab it with your teeth and snap it. <laughs> okay, ready? Oh, I see. Okay, here, let me do this. Why are we doing this? Okay, in my hand. <laughs> in my teeth. Like that? Now I think you have to let it ravel up and then stick it in your mouth. Yes. Go ahead. Do it, Colleen. Put it tight. <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm doing this live. Okay. Oh, God, Colleen. Snap it. Don't lick it. <laughs> oh, that what we're doing? Like this? I don't know. This is bizarre. We just snap it. Snap it, and now <laughs> it will. It won't ravel, and it'll lay flat. <laughs> this is the weirdest thing I've ever done on camera. Just saying. Okay. <laughs> Thank I, you, sir. <laughs> okay, now well, let's compare the snap it string and cut another one and see if it works. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> this is the silliest thing I've ever done. I've done some weird stuff. Okay. Let's look at the difference. Oh, I thought we had to pull the strings apart. Okay. <laughs> Put it back down. <laughs> okay. It's so weird to be on camera. Okay. And I gotta turn you around. Okay. So here is the, here is, here is the snap screen. That's the one I snapped. Okay, this is the one not snapped. It is straighter. Ah, uh, it does, okay. I told you. <laughs> Just lick it and snap Don't it. Don't lick it, just snap it with your teeth. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Lick it, snap it. <laughs> there you go. Right. So this is straighter. Let's make it straighter than this one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now that's how you. Snap. If if you're doing Japanese needlework, you have to snap your threads. Yeah, and you did Japanese needlework with the Japanese ladies, right? Right. 
and you also do that any it, and it also helps with any type of like needlepoint and stuff to get a straighter thread and it the thread will lay flat yeah it does lay flat and this is all wavy i can see that i don't know if you can see it on camera but it, uh, you, can, oh, you can tell there's a subtle difference yeah it's very, yeah if i can zoom oh my god your camera's is, uh <laughs> Look at snap it, live it. <laughs> Look at snap it. <laughs> okay. Okay, my camera doesn't like the Okay, I'm gonna leave. You snapped your damn thread. No, okay. wait, 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 hey. don't leave. Why? Any questions for Eileen? Because people have questions. Curious minds want to know. Okay, so we snap the thread. You have our needles. Let's see. Okay, now's your chance. If anybody has questions for Eileen, ask them now. <laughs> snap. I'm from Philly, not New York. That's a Philly accent. She's. <laughs> See, I've never been either. So. Okay, Eileen, what do you think of the new Timmy color? Tamara Bigfoot wants to know. Guess what? It's going to be delivered today. <laughs> oh, hopefully mine comes today because mine went out right after yours. I hope so. Maybe tomorrow. Hopefully mine today, is. maybe tomorrow. I love the color. Isn't it great? It's so vibrant. And it amazed me how good it looks with this speckled egg. I know. I love it with the speckled egg, and I never would have thought to put it with that. Oh, this was fun. Yeah, I she's getting hers today, Jersey. I'll, mine was sent out the day later, so I guess I'll get mine tomorrow or Monday. What's I'll, the first thing you're going to do with it, Eileen? Do you have any plans? It. I'm going to pet it for a while. Pet it. Yeah. <laughs> Just look at it. <laughs> Pacola, it's called Crackling Campfire. And it is pretty. Yes, it's very pretty. The reds, the oranges. I mean, it makes sense he's releasing that, you know, well, uh, during the... Oh, I love South Jersey. No, the pin is extra in this one. Oh, sorry, I mean. What did she love? I love Margate in South Jersey. The cops are really nice there. Oh, Janet's on her way. Oh, my God, we should get Janet on here. To get Janet here, otherwise she doesn't come to my streams. Oh, if <laughs> yeah. Janet's here, I'm leaving. I should no. hurt that hurts my feelings. <sighs> I think I might put that there. Hey, what? Colleen, send Janet a DM on Twitter with the link. Yeah, Tanya said the list price is forty three ninety two. Joggles has it for thirty seven thirty three. You save fifteen percent, which basically pays the shipping, right? Because then if you order, you know, it goes over fifty dollars, and you get half price on shipping and. Hey, Colleen, this video is going to have the most views ever. Because Eileen is here, and she is very famous, just saying. And you're like, well, I'm perfect. She, she's perfect. <laughs> very Perfectly blessed. perfect, Eileen. Very blessed to have her. She is, uh, knows everything. Oh, my gosh. All the stuff she's taught Colleen and I. Uh, so, it really is so appreciative. Hey, she's been, like, Die cutting. I had trouble die cutting, and she took. That was cutting. funny, Colleen. Oh my god! And now it's look at Colleen's a die cutting fool. I had to listen to my furnace going ee for twenty four hours, so I was like, ah. <laughs> I was like this all day. I was like die cut, die cut, die cut, die cut, die cut, die cut all day. 
because the furnace was squealing all day long that we got it fixed. There's Pamela Kane says hello. So I die cut it and die cut it and die cut it and die and I did more afterwards and I'm waiting for the uh, bigger one to come today to finish doing the bigger ones for the Elizabeth designs. But look at all these. Isn't it wonderful that you put the dies up and not down? Brilliant. Yes. It doesn't logically make sense. I was just like, no wonder I couldn't get anything cut. And also the good tip she had was, uh, was when you put it down to angle it, when you're running it through your machine, instead of this way or this way, it's to angle it. And oh, it's better to angle it? Yeah, or put it on the edges if it's not cutting right, or try it in the middle. Like I was not manipulating it if it gets flaky. And the other thing too is they were moving on me. And so then I was getting these weird cuts and then I had to, and she told me to tape it down before running it through, which works, I didn't know either with posted tape, which I bought apparently at some point for something, which I happen to have, don't know why I have it. And yeah, and I use that and it comes right off, doesn't hurt it. And that was a really good tip besides running it through on an angle and facing the die upwards. I mean, you wouldn't think die cutting should be a uh, hard thing to do, but it, it was. It was. The metallic tray culling will make a huge difference too. So like I was doing it this way. Yeah. About time, CB. <laughs> What did CB say? I mean, I put my Gemini away and got up my big shot. Ooh. Oh, CB, you know what this means? You always said you'd stream after Eileen did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have the light, CB. You're next. That was your, like, I'll stream after Eileen. <laughs> <laughs> You're next. Grab the link. <laughs> Turn off your camera like I lean if you want. We can just hear you. <laughs> so when I ran it through, I was doing it with the paper down and then the die like this. Because then, you know, this would cut into this. But then just flipping it with the cut side up and then this side and then this upside down. It is. Then it worked. It just isn't the real Eileen. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's the one and only. <laughs> it's your turn. No excuse. Hey, you should share your talent with everybody. Devin, I'm finishing my tags. And then I'm starting my Halloween book. Oh, yeah, she's finishing up her tags, and then you're, oh, you're starting your Halloween book now? Yeah, I'm making um, just Halloween tags. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. <gasps> Janet! Pull it, Janet. Janet, who is perfect, Eileen? That would be the one and only. <laughs> the one and only Boca <laughs> WTF. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this is the best stream ever. <laughs> That's her reaction. Don't you want to hug her virtually? Something. <laughs> Janet wants to smack the hell out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the crackling campfire will be perfect for Halloween. <laughs> Janet, we did it. We got her on. She told us how to snap thread, and I did it on video, and I licked it, and I snapped it. <laughs> it's uh, 12 CB. 12, 12, if you do... However, if you do more, I'll make sure everybody gets them, but 12. You know, a lot of times in the break, the edge is difficult. You close an eye again, 
the Eileen, okay, turn your TV off. <laughs> Don't tell me to be perfect or mute it. <laughs> that better? Yeah. yeah. I have the TV up to so the cats can listen to it. <laughs> if you stream, they can watch you stream. They All right. Listen, they can listen to you talking, which is way better, don't you think? They ignore me. <laughs> Look, they they ignore you. Hashtag. <laughs> I like this hashtag. <laughs> I have two, Jersey. Artie and Augie. Cats need to hear the news. They do, Helen. They need to keep up with what's going on. That's right. They might have, you know, a few relatives over there. You never know. <laughs> well, this is so fun. Is okay. it, do you want to come in, Janet? Yeah, Janet, you want to come in? Come in and talk to Eileen. Oh, God, no, that this video will be banned. <laughs> <laughs> the two troublemakers will be here together. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. All right, dude, like she did it. I like how she did the little tip, tip. I might do that. I'm just gluing away with all of Jersey's barn kit. <laughs> oh, look at all that stuff. That's perfect. It is. <laughs> I'm going back Monday. They said they're getting a more another shipment Monday, so hopefully get, they'll have some more stuff. It was empty. They had nothing at my Tuesday morning. All right. She's so going to lunch with the friend. She don't want to come on. She don't have her thing set up. You can't even go on your laptop. I leave on her laptop. She said, let's do it soon, though. That'd be great. Okay. We'll have to we'll have to be happy with that. Okay, I'm not set up going to lunch with an old friend. Oh, that's nice, Janet. So, uh, you going anyplace good? <laughs> Going to do some shopping while you're out? Shopping. Oh. Okay. I'm going to leave so you girls can do some actual art. But this uh, <laughs> All right. All right. Bye, Eileen. Thanks, Goodbye. Eileen. It Come back again. It's, it's a barnyard kid happy mail. Just saying. It is. It's like a barnyard caboodle. It is. Look, I, I mean, I got almost, let's see, I only got one, two, three, four, five more pages to find stuff for the cover, and then I'm going to do something to the back, and then I'll probably use it. Oh, as nice, Janet. Pages. I only better not look if I'm going to, if I end up gluing this down. <laughs> That was fun. Did you guys enjoy Very having much. Eileen on there? <laughs> Getting to hear and see her. It's it's much different, right? Than what we're when we're used to just uh, chatting. Oh, it's easier. It's just easier to talk and not have it all with the typing and the delay and all that kind of stuff. It was fun. Yeah. It's, it's a pita with the delay. It really is. Yes, Janet. She should come on with uh, that's would that be perfect if she went on with you and DB on a Thursday. Every glue is terrible. <laughs> okay, so we're set. So uh, are we gonna make the pattern on the denim? Are we gonna are you gonna buy the kit like Popo did with the with it pre done? Which kit? The kit, the fabric that's pre printed. The pre and Popo bought pre pre pen pre oh my god pre printed Shoshoki designs on it, and you just stitch over the lines. They're they're on there. It's like a cheater. No, I don't think so. Because I think looking at the book, I mean, you can. It shows you how you can make your own patterns and transfer it onto paper. I think what I'm going to do is just do freehand. 
I'm just going to do freehand and kind of make up my own, make up my own style and not follow the path. <laughs> Tamara used to stop thread the side of the fabric on. <laughs> That's a good idea. Kelly, use your snap thread to sew that fabric on. <laughs> <laughs> and I think of that. <laughs> now, in fact, let me. Do I have some material? I do have some. I was just gonna. I was just gonna kind of wing it. And then we're gonna get the chalk pencil out. We're gonna try to draw the pattern. They also was looking in the book, and one thing that they had I thought was interesting. That you mentioned in the book is. To, if you don't want to use the traditional, if you don't want to use the traditional, um, hold on, I add a piece of burlap. I went down too far. Hold on. And I have sticky. Hold on. The sticky, sticky tape. There. So otherwise, it's going to be sticky. Mess. Okay. Um, okay, let me show you. It says, I read that out. Like take a picture of like something and then make you know basically do the outlines of it and then make your own template like this. So she took a picture of her her plants. Okay, and then uh -huh. she, and then she puts it up. Tracing paper over the photo. Oh, close the camera. We have issues. And then she traced it. And then she took and put the drawing onto a piece of um, what they call it. Already, it's like to say a, a tinted fabric, and then uh, stitch and then stitch it. Um, so that's something else we talk about here: is fabrics for to go uh, camera. There. Okay. It says that they traditionally stitched it on hand dyed indigo cotton linen, hemp, or other plant fibers. So if you really want to make it official, you buy some hand dyed indigo cotton. Don't well, this is my substitute hand dyed indigo cotton. <laughs> There you go. It says if you don't um, wash it, it'd be fine. But if you're going to like wash it, then you won't want it because it may bleed. But I thought that was interesting. And there's some really pretty um, examples in there. So, okay. And Lee said, get some fabric chalk pencils to add your design. So yeah. So if I have a white pencil. Yeah, so that's what I was thinking. So you just basically make your design on so buy candy. Bye candy. See you later. You were. I'm such a glad you're here. And it was a monumental moment. <laughs> it definitely was. It was fun. And I snap thread live. And licked it, snapped it, and loved it. <laughs> it's a snack and a craft. <laughs> All right, that one's covered. Look how cute that looks with the burlap and the tissue she gave me. Oh my God, I love that. I'm just going through, just gluing all the stuff she gave me. See how talented she is. Oh, yeah. Creative, creative. Okay, I have all these different pencils. I would say find a white pencil that you that shows up on the fabric. Okay, here is I have a white Conti pencil. So I guess you could. That might look better on the back. Figure out what kind of design you want to do. Okay, and I'll make you whole. Let's try this again so we can get tricky. Ooh, it stayed. Ooh, perfect. Use the chalk that rubs off. 
Oh, you're talking about the sewing chalk stuff? I don't all chalk rub off. You would think they cast on something. Okay. Oh, maybe just chalk. Any kind of chalk. Here. I have... I think I have just some chalk that I bought. Yes, I do. All right, so I have some praying white chalk, which I don't even know why I bought this, but I did. All right. Good, good. That looks with the denim. And then if you want to make sure your line goes straight, what do you think? Take a ruler. All right, so I'm going to start with a line down the middle. So okay. if you want to make sure it's straight, it say take your chalk, just make little lines. Oh, you found kid chalk? Yeah, praying. It's like uh, I have that too. That's a good idea. So here we go. Out. That's perfect. All right, so let's divide this up. We'll make a little sampler thing. Divide it into four squares. So if you want, I mean, you can buy the fabric with the pattern on it. That's fun. If you don't want to do that, I would say just draw your pattern that you want to draw, that you want to do. And I was just thinking, too, after I practice and do it for a while, I may just do some freehand stuff and get out some of my old embroidery books that I have. Hmm. I have a, I have several embroidery books I bought this winter when we were doing the stitching in the denim book. Oh, see, that'll have different, that'll have all the different types of stitches. So I wonder if you could use the chalk to use and cheat with a stencil. Yeah, I bet you could. Okay, Eileen said the, okay, that's true. If you get the chalk pencil, that'll give you a thinner line. Um, but yeah, you could do, use a stencil, outline the stencil. And then, yeah, that's a good idea, Colleen. Yeah, if you have the pencil, you can just outline it as a pencil. Let me go look for a like, cool stencil. It's a little design, but, you know, it just depends if you want to be traditional or not, right? Now, one of them is a bunch of circles, and then uh, the circles kind of intertwine. So I know circles was, uh, circles was one of them. So if you have a circle stencil, you could do that. Oh yeah, oh here's something. All right, let's try. All right, this is just one of my old Mr. Huey stencils. That works. Hi, Tracy, how are you? Hey, Tracy. Hi, yeah. Uh, Hi started. to anybody that came in that we met. We're going to do napkin journaling, and we're sitting here going to she should go. <laughs> I know. Okay, so I went to Tuesday mornings the other day, 
I picked up, oh, that looks cute with the little dotted circle. I picked up the Jane Davenport um, card things. So most of them are printed. Oh, I saw that there. I didn't know what that was. Uh, you're supposed to, you can color them, you can paint them, and then you get some blanks too. So there, she said to use anything, so you can use markers, watercolors, acrylic, whatever you want to use them. I got them for the girl journal. I never work on, but I keep piling and accumulating more and more. These were six dollars. They had a whole bunch of her stuff. I I bought only thing I bought was this and a pen. I bought this and a pen, but they had the metal thing that hangs brushes. They had the lipstick stuff, um, the chalks and all kinds of stuff but i left with these two at that group and the cookbook uh and um so i got the cookbook and those and was there anything else i got tuesday morning okay. i'll show you after I, i'm gonna do oh, yeah, a few of these squares and then i'll show you what i got i picked up some napkins i got this butterfly one marked down it's really pretty I got that one and I got this one which is fun with the turquoise and oranges and I, so I got these two marked I, this one was marked down this one was not but it wasn't expensive because it's smaller and see oh that one more thing I got, I got this oh you remember I did the little farm pen yeah, put your put, switch us count. How often is equal? There we go. That makes more sense. Okay, so I I did a little farm pen, and then I covered it with crackle paste. And oh yeah, that was fun. Bin wax, and then um, and inside, hold on. Inside was the little. I did the little down on the farm little farm book. Made the belly band. Okay, so I did this. I love the how that turned out with the little woodies on there. And then um so that was a paper pack I got there. And then I and I cute the jersey. It was so fun to do. And so I bought they had a larger version today when I went in. So you can see it's quite a big bigger. Oh, and they had this one. And so I was like, okay, so it's the same, it's the same thing. It's a little, it's a little accordion book. Boop. Front and back with a like a, a hard cover, a hard cover, front and back. You can see that fits inside. So I'm gonna decorate another 10 because this one I really like how it turned out. It's hard to open and close with the paste, but it works. So if you all didn't see this, who I do whose idea was it the belly band? Is that Devin? Someone gave me that Maybe. idea. Maybe I think it was Devin's. That is just adorable. Oh, so now you can make another accordion book. Yeah. And um, it was fun to have the paper and then put the duck and the pig and have the goat like in the farmer's face. <laughs> Hello. Uh, hold on. There we go. So I just used all these little little woody uh, things I had, and used the paper and hand. At the time was painting all these little all these little guys. It was just really fun and cute. That project. was a fun stream. It was fun. I enjoyed making this. It was fun to. It was fun to paint the little donkey and there's the little duck and the rooster on top, the barn and the backside. I used some stamps and just. Oh my God, Colleen, how many times did you redo that tin till the crackle worked? Didn't you have to do that a few times? No, I think it's pretty quick. Maybe. I don't know. I don't remember. You could be right. I don't remember. But I, I don't know. Eileen, do you remember? <laughs> I don't remember. For some reason, I think. Maybe. I, I think all I know it is I started to. to one to do it one way and hated it and then i redid it you're right i did start with something else and then i just totally hated it 
and then I uh, redid it. That's right, with the uh, crackle paste and the fin wax. That was it. So I'm going to do another little little journal, or this would be a little journal, this would be a bigger journal. So I'll have that as a prize this one day. I got that Tuesday morning. I thought that would be fun to work on together. So I'm going to take, I love this, so I'm going to take her napkin and then I'm going to put that one down here. I guess I should go and stop working on this because that's what I keep wanting to do and go to my a project I had planned. See, this is <laughs> I don't care. Kylie, I don't mind if you keep working on it. I'm doing this Shishiko stuff. Because I have everything picked out for my napkin journal. Oh, do you? Okay. Yeah, I could start on that. Let me finish this page. I look cute on those tens. Okay, I think it's okay. I think I'm getting to I have the flower. I have the Rick Rack. I'm looking through her, and she said it was just happy mail, but it ended up being a farm kit. Just, just saying, it was a really cute farm kit. Okay, <laughs> just so you guys know, this is me just winging it. Yeah, we are no Shishuki experts. I haven't, I haven't read the book yet. I've just looked at the pictures, and this is just me kind of looking at the pictures, and this is my take. And then I'll go back and read the book and see all the Ew, stuff I have wrong. I'm going to have to make a scrunchie with this one. I'll have to make a little oh, yeah. tids, scrunchie. Oh, tids. a little tab for your book. Yeah, I'm going to use this and put a little button when my buttons come that I bought because I loved them. From Kathy Arbor showed them. And I'm going to, I'll add this up here on the fabric page and I'll make it with a little, little tidbit here and sew this and put this here to go with here. Oh, that'd be cute. So I'll put that there. Okay, so for me, I don't know if this is this Shishuki style, but to me, the character of doing this is not having it perfect. I mean, that's my, my take on it is it doesn't, it should look more raw oh yeah do you have a cross stitch hoop that make your life a lot easier like a little cross stitch hoop oh yeah i've got a bunch of them yeah that's I've got a bunch do. of them do they you but i don't do they you do the real shishiko i don't know do people they, do I that don't know it's true because they, they they push it all through at once maybe they don't yeah it's more of a up and down instead of scrunching right that's, that's a that's a valid point Okay, so this is actually, this is kind of fun. Okay, so, I started, I got one, I got, did one tag, I got 29 to go, or no, 35 to go, <laughs> for tag thing we're doing. A short and a long E. Sashiko. Okay, Sashiko. Okay, thanks, CB. Hey, CB, uh, have you done this, the Sashiko? Have you done this? So So I used my die cuts from the, and uh, and I used my new stamp, the little girl and her dog, and added that down. I got the black and white, ah. and, I, and my pop of color is the turquoise. I used distressed uh, oxide pistachio and broken china. And swished them together and sprayed it and then whoosh, and picked it up. There was some oh, on the back, but it, it got messy. Oh, Eileen, you should have shut your tags when you were on. That would have been good. Uh, shoot. She needs to come back on and show them. And then we yeah. I just did the old, uh, this is from 1997. I love these old stamping up texture ones. And then I did that in the background. But, and this was a, the water. So using the eggs to make them look like watercolor on the stamp technique. Cool, right? I was happy, happy, happy. So, and of course I used some of my ribbon from the yard sale. <laughs> I have, um, oh, I hope you didn't use it all up, Colleen. <laughs> <laughs> I have an abundance of, a very big abundance of. 
All right. She said she'll put them on Instagram. She's not going to come back on. Okay. I have to say the thread is not twisting at all. I feel the. I have to make something. I'm going to have to do a scrunchie. It's not? Nope. It's going. It's just gliding straight through. You know how when you do like cross stitch or embroidery and stuff and it gets all yeah, twisted? It does. It's a nightmare. It's not. So far, so good. It's a nightmare. All right. I'm going to leave that there because I think what I'm going to do is um, get my sewing, have my sewing machine and I think I'm going to stitch the napkin to the or fabric to this and then adhere this here okay so thank you jersey i've been like i right, got that page set up i did this one with the burlap and the cute tissue and then i added your recipe cards the flash card and the photograph and i left that so i remember and then i added your rooster pictures to cover up the recipe stuff. How cute is this? Oh, CB, I missed it. Have you done the sashiko before? You got some of your postcards. And another rooster. Yeah, I'm going to take some of that because I will not be. I will be adding paper to this. Now I have to cover. I still got to cover up this or take it out. <laughs> oh, good. Devin's gonna uh, post the YouTube video of her tags after this. Oh, cool. And I may end up doing that because I don't know. Or I'll keep this for a separate separate one i haven't decided but i get this really neat okay, she's done it not a lot okay cornmeal bag and you can make a journal i could just keep this for a separate journal because it's gonna i thought about using this but it's gonna extend out past the book so i'm gonna wait on that i have a i have a flower bag Another kid from Johnny. So I have a couple more of these. I'll add that to my others. I also have this one too. Okay. Ooh, it's stuck. Oh, I'll have to get out my embroidery stuff. I know I've got some good embroidery scissors. See, it's really big too. So I have two of these. I could I have these two. I decide if I want to use these or not. So I have this one and the other. See, she likes bugs. She did. She got I can't believe you like bugs. I'm really surprised by that. Cool. I, that Eileen likes bugs. I am super, I know Eileen loves bugs. Super surprised about that yesterday, Cass, that she has the bug guy from Sizzix and she likes using bugs. <laughs> I was very, very surprised. That's funny. Okay. 
And I will definitely use this. Oh, we're so excited. Thank you so much again, Jersey. I'm going to keep all your stuff over here because I'm going to um, work on that. I should start with what I had planned. Oh, this might cover this up. I need to cover up. Oh, I got to cover up both of those if I'm going to leave them. Okay. So what I planned to try was my zippers. And we pull out a note. Let me pull out a book out of here. Ooh, I got glue on me. Hold on. Oh, I wanted to show you that jersey. I know you have your. Uh, God, I saw you. Uh, I know you have your Mandela's. And I wanted the cards or whatever. I wanted to show you. Um, I found these the other day. They're called Crazy Sexy Love Notes by Chris Carr. And um, it's similar, but different. It's like little, it's 52 powerful reminders to love and appreciate yourself from inside and out. Um, you are a magnificent, radiant being. The sooner you start embracing that fact and treating yourself accordingly, the sooner your life will begin to unfold with purpose, ease, health, and vitality. And this deck, the 52 cards, will help you Help yourself in the deepest level. Uh, let these love notes guide you back home when you lose your way. Remind you to nourish yourself and nourish your blessings and share your gifts and choose love. So it has, again, it has her art on them. And then on the back, it has little quotes. I see these cool. I thought you might like these. I've had these for quite a while. Um, but I found them. So I was like, I got to show Jersey these. This one's brisket. And again, there's little, I don't want to read them all, but there's little nice things on the back for you to help share your gifts. You are healing. Be gentle with yourself. Tell the truth. I like the ones that the elephants listen. Ooh. Slow down. There's Jersey and her new cat. <laughs> listen to your body. I see your tag and set a request to follow you. Is anyone else buffering? Uh, no. Okay. Joan said, Joan said she was buffering. Oh, uh, I guess probably she's over. It's time to rise. Across the pond. Invite your fears to tea. So I think that was neat. Give your give each other space. You did it. Yeah, it's just I mean it's beautiful art. It's uh nice things. Choose love. Stop comparing. Something bigger is on the way. You can't please everyone. Amen. Notice the blessings. Here's the here's the confidence peacock. <laughs> There's Rosemary. <laughs> She's very confident. Forgiveness heals. You are awesome. It is beautiful art. Ask for help. Unplug. Accept compliments. Be present. Adventure awaits. This is about, this is um, the two people she, who did the cards. Be mindful with your money. Make waves. Time to stop procrastinating. Create your love. Reconsider your commitments. Accept yourself. Be a natural beauty. I like that one. Pause. That's a pretty one. Find your tribe. Right here. Yeah. I found our tribe. This one is your purpose is joy. Trust your intuition. This is one I like. Dance. I like to dance. 
elevate your energy. And this one I like, spruce up your nest. <laughs> so you Oh, that's cute. You could either, you know, just to keep these around to read, you could put these in journals or send these to people too. I mean, you could actually do tip-ins with these because that way you could still read the back. And there's a rooster one too. I already pulled it out, put it in my rooster drawer. But this one says, it's a new day. So yeah, I wanted to share that with you. I wanted to show you this. I've had this a while, so I don't, like I said, it's probably a few years. Okay, I do have a question on the Sashiko, if anybody knows, because I haven't I haven't read the books or anything. I'm just kind of diving in clueless. Now, is it uh, is it supposed to be done on more than one layer of fabric, or you can or you can't? Because I feel like when I see it, it's always like the fabric's kind of layered. Or maybe I'm just seeing like Sashiko quilting or something. Oh, well, that's what Rosemary was doing. She was sewing on, um, she was actually sewing on pieces of fabric. So maybe so, I don't know. I don't know, I think you can do it either way. I think because I see it both ways in this book. But I'll have to, that's something I wanna read and look like what the traditional, I'll look at here, this is, isn't that pretty? She said both are all right. Oh, that's really pretty with the sun and the moon. Uh huh. It's Ooh. like on a piece of batik. I love that. And so oh, they, and in the book, there's a sun and moon template. So she get that you get templates. Oh, I, I didn't know. I, I think I might need a link to that book. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you think? I think I need a link to that book. Let's see. Yeah. And then it does, it gives the step-by-step -step instructions, but that's really cool. That is very cool. Hmm. Okay, Nash said she does it both ways work. Both ways work. Okay, it was originally started as how to add fabric to old clothes that were ripped, etc. Okay, so it is a, it's traditionally, it is kind of a layering thing. It sounds like. All right, I take the napkin back off with the tape method. Oh, this one actually came off. Ha! Didn't have to do it, but I'm going to need it for the other one. So I'm going to. Okay. So I took my napkin back the other day, and Devin um, painted on hers. I'll raise my camera up so you guys can see. And I thought that was really cool. So I so I stamped some acrylic ink. I put some acrylic inks on a stamp and then stamped it on the tissue back. Some of them were good. Some of them were not so good because I was using inks, just playing around. But that one took really good. So yeah, you can use your tissue backs, and I used like I said, a ink on a stamp and got that. So that was fun. And then, then I went on stamping with ink on my stamp, and I tried it on some tissue. Oop, it's this way. Tissue. You can see if you add too much, it doesn't work. If you add just a little, it does work. So the words, some of the words were good. Just depends. You got to get the not too much ink, which, you know, for me, I always do too much. <laughs> So I tried that, and that was really fun. So I'm going to put this down, my, t my napkin journal. My plan is, let me finish and get this tape off my fingers. Let me undo this napkin. Oh, this is a two-layer one. Okay, you're gonna go in the work mode, listen in art. Okay. Okay, Laura. Uh, 
Oh, Ampac is streaming at three today. Who's streaming at three? Ampac. Okay. Oh, good. She's uh, she was on uh, Mary this morning, or at Mary's, I should say, not on. Oh, okay. Hey, Linda. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to. I'm not glue. I'm not going to do the mod podge. I'm going to do a glue stick. Let's glue this down. My fan is blowing it. <laughs> So I was happy when I finished my journal, the denim cover. That was a lot of work, but it turned out really cute. And every time I see it, it makes me smile. So the work was the work was worth it. If you're not going to use any wet mediums directly on it. You don't have to map medium it down unless you're going to put wet stuff on top. Okay. I'm going to do is cut the back off later. Okay. So then my plan was let's try this. Now, Devin told us about, I'm sure, I know I follow her, but I can't, I don't know if I've seen any of her stuff come up lately is um the lady that uses zippers in her art and we used to do this a while ago this was very popular to use zippers so when i was yard sailing i got a big thing of zippers i was excited they're kind of, yeah they're not exactly cheap so i wanted to try to incorporate it into my napkin so what I was thinking I was going to do is I'm going to put her, I'm going to use my, put that piece of paper down. That was my thought. I'm going to do this and I'm going to put her on here. Okay. I have another question. Does this um, yeah. special oh, thread I come in all different colors? I have done that. Glue stick and then matte medium on top. I haven't done that. <laughs> Did you ask? I'm going to laugh at Eileen. She's going to cry if I glue the zipper down. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> only, you can only cry if you come on back on with us. <laughs> She'll be right over. <laughs> That's the only way you can cry. Okay, so my thought was I have her coming out of the zipper. Well, I don't, it's going to be in the middle, so I don't know if I could really sew this unless I scoot her off to the side. Hey, Colleen, do you follow Wood Expressions on Instagram? Um, uh, Devin just said she has, and I follow her, she ha uses zippers in her artwork. Wood expressions. Wood expressions. Oop, I do follow her. It, it's weird how like you you'll go to your Instagram unless you're specific. Oops. Unless you're specifically searching, you can't, they don't just come up. Like you're going to have to right. only bring up the ones that you're liking, like the algorithm. They don't actually show, like if, if someone you follow posts something new, which is really aggravating. Because I never remember everybody's name. Oh, you remember that pig book I bought at the yard sale? I should be able to use that too in my book. Oh, and my, yeah. Unless I want to keep it all roosters. I got to decide if I'm going to make it rooster or if I'm going to make it that cookbook farm. I'd say do farm because then you can have the pigs, the cows, you can have a little bit of everything. You 
can even go with the vegetables. I mean, you could do, I think you've got more options with the, with the farm theme. That's true. But up to you. I mean, it's what you're in the mood for. Here's a vase. I like it the way you oh, see Kathy saw it. Oh, there. Yeah, and so wow. there's the zipper. That's a painted zipper, I'm assuming. Yeah, it's a painted zipper, not a real zipper. But I like that. So it looks like the vase is being unzipped. So that's what I was kind of going for here, is I would have... I'll, I'll have this down. I'm going to cut everything away that's around it and do that. That's my thoughts. Then, yeah, they're faux zippers. Is she? Oh, thanks, Deborah. I think I need, I need a, it'd be cool. It would be cool to have a zipper stencil. <laughs> That would be cool. Tanya says she does zippers down her spine cover. That's a cute idea. Real ones? And her spine covers. Oh, 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 I see what she's saying, like on the edges. Okay, okay. She's yeah. got jean light fabric with the zipper and lace showing. Do you like the zipper and lace showing? Do you are you in, is she on Instagram? Can I find her? Hold on. Wait. Yeah, Tanya, what's your Instagram? Let's see if we can find out here. Tanya. Here. It's her name. I found her name. Let's see if we can find that. Is it on Instagram? I don't I need to like some of her stuff so she comes up on my algorithm again I don't like I follow so many people and they don't show up at my algorithm she's working in a cop book some of these <laughs> see the rabbit that's funny okay I don't see it oh you stopped on social media for a while oh okay uh, so i would like to i'd like to have seen that okay my napkin at i'm gonna try to do the oh eileen said there are zipper stamps really that would work. A zipper stamp? I mean, a full, like a full size zipper stamp, or is it like a mini version? That would work. Okay, I'm going to need to buy some pants. Oh, you're kidding me, Tanya. Seriously. Well, did you block them? Did you block those people? Uh, that's where you're making block. fun of your stuff. Yeah, that's where you go in. You block the, you know what? Yeah, and block the yeah Jesus out of them. That's yeah. so mean. That's ridiculous. You should go in and make whoever was saying stuff want to block them and then remove the comment. They don't deserve that. They don't deserve to steal your joy. No. Block and remove. Who are they to do that? That's probably not even an artist. It's probably someone who isn't even an artist. Just mean people. Going around being jerks. I can't believe someone would leave like nasty comments like that on someone's instagram well that's stupid i will block and delete you so and you won't do it again you're gonna have to keep making accounts that's bullshit oh that makes me mad 
Well, there's a lot of not so nice people out there, but we don't have to put up with them. Why ain't that the truth? I'm really sorry that happened, Tanya. There you go. Eileen said just answer whatever. Yeah, mean people suck. It's right. You have to start somewhere. And then right. you, you have to start. No one is, is a Picasso or you know, you're not going to start off being great. You have to practice. You have to try. Like this. And and when you put yourself out there, that's the, the only negative part about putting yourself out there. I've had some people I haven't liked dealing with either. Oh, I know, Linda. Yeah, I get that too. Uh, that is a whole block. <laughs> block, delete, idiots. Yeah. I just block, delete them. It's like, I'm happily married. Go away. Okay, they have stamps, but they're not 12 inches. That's what I thought. Okay. Yep. It's like, I'm happily married. Go away. Shoo, shoo. Weirdo. Sure. I mean, a stranger. Sure. God, men are stupid. <laughs> Sorry, but men are stupid. Don't look, Eileen. <laughs> what are you using glue? I'm going to use some glue. Well, you kind of have to on that. I really do. Because I'm. Ooh, thunder. Ooh, I hear that. Yes, I'm glad we need rain so bad. Is it raining up by you, Linda? This is actually, this is kind of fun and relaxing. Yeah, as I say, this is a low stress dream. So I'm going to, all right, so I got my paper cut. This is my uh, paper from Michelle. She does really pretty lace papers and she dyes. So I'm going to add that on top of my tissue. And I think this tissue was from, this is, um, I just got this. Isn't this the one I just got from? A napkin, and I just get this from um, Johnny. Is it Johnny, or did I get this from Brooke? Is it Johnny? Brooke, or Brooke? One of the two. It looks familiar. Hey, Maybe got, Brooke. Johnny or Brooke? It might have been Brooke. And how perfect is that? And then I was like, "Ooh, my lace paper is going to match nice." So I'm going to glue this. I'm not going to glue that yet. Where's my girl? Okay. Where'd she go? I had her. <laughs> Everything's blowing around. I want to turn off my fan. It gets warm up here. Um, okay, another. It's laying here somewhere. Oh, they're loving seeing you sewing. <laughs> I know. Yeah, good thing this is on video. Who knows? I can hand sew. I should say I can hand sew. I just, I. There's something I'm like intimidated by the sewing machine. And I've done, I did embroidery like around when I was 12, I learned how to embroider. And then I did cross stitch. And then when we lived in England, I actually joined a, um, a needle, a needle point group. So I've done that too. So I can hand stitch. I can slow stitch. I guess that's what I've done, but I've my <laughs> sewing machine just intimidates me. Oh, 
Okay, so I can see how you could take like just little scraps of different papers and layer them on, or not, not papers, material, and just keep layering, do different stitches and come out with kind of a, like just kind of a funky little thing. All right, have her cut out, mostly cut out. I'm gonna add her to this paper so she doesn't disappear. That's my main. I'm gonna make sure that if I add her here, she won't melt into the paper, the napkin. Oh, then. Ooh. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. So I'm gonna add her gently. You have to be gentle, she'll tear it, start in the middle. I'm gonna add her on my paper so she doesn't disappear on the other napkin. All right. Then you'll be able to see her. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta have it down further away so my bifocals can <laughs> pick up the pick up the extra I can't see up on my face. There you go. There. All right. I'm afraid of busty cut around her face, honestly, with this tissue. I don't want to do the whole water method thing either. I don't want to tear her face. Yeah. I don't want to tear her, so. It's the gist. All right, switch the wrinkles out. See yeah, how like this green paper is really pretty and really subtle and it matches the background. I'll hold this up in a moment and you'll see if I would have put her onto this, she would have had this pattern showing through her. But you can see, see now this, this lacy paper I put her on shows through on her skin tone. And it's just a really soft. Um, oh, cool. Soft and pretty that way. Now I'm going to add some wings that's what we do i don't know why but it looks good <laughs> we always add butterfly wings did packer die start that what's that the but the wings on people oh yeah i don't know who started it but i love the wings it's fun to do i want to add that right down her spine right there right there Go ahead, then. why not I want to tear it. Ooh, scary. Okay. Napkins are so fragile, but they're so pretty and they're so addictive. <laughs> uh, uh, Devin wants to know, should you cut the bug body off? Oh, that would look better. Thank you, Devin. I'd say just leave the black strip or just the head. Okay. <laughs> oh, thanks, Linda. We want to pretend that there's not an ugly bug. That looks a lot better. Thank you, Devin. We want to pretend there's not an ugly bug that has these beautiful wings. <laughs> That looks better. Cage fish. Um, when she was doing her napkin journal, um, was the first person I saw lay, uh, layering tissue, layering the napkins. Like we will use napkins, but I never. Um, it was a while ago she was streaming more often um you know just on youtube not like classes or whatever and she was the first person i saw doing this and just taking her napkins and layering them like this and i was like how smart is that and she talked about how to you know use the glue stick and 
and I never use glue sticks on napkins. I always just use my uh, like matte medium and how to work from the middle out so you don't tear your napkin. And and to she's the first person I saw layer napkins on napkins and make art from it. So I appreciate that inspiration. So. Yes, yeah, she is the one who got us, I think, both of us back into the napkin journal thing. She did. That's why we made, like, that's why we made these books to begin with. Yeah. And then we put them in Cass's cover, and then I took it out there, and I put it into this other journal. But she was uh, just using glue sticks, no wet mediums, and just using napkins and layering napkins and napkins. It just, it was, it was neat. i never seen anyone layer napkins on napkins like this so i'm gonna give her credit <laughs> an alien plant with a bug body still on it <laughs> i knew that was devon before i even looked up <laughs> okay done Oh, the grandma, um, she was happy today that Kimberly was, she filled her vomit, and, and then I dropped it and rolled across the floor, unwinding. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. All vomits are pain. They had a worst part about sewing on the machine. And the worst part about hand sewing is threading your needle. She goes, oh, her grandma never cussed. <laughs> My grandma sewed and she, you know, I, you know, I think she was no, she could, she has cussed, but she didn't cuss that much, honestly. She never really cared for cussing. So I tried to, I tried to, uh, to watch it around her. All right. That looks pretty good. All right. So. Now I'm going to go in and cut. I'm going to just draw a pencil and cut it out, I think. All right. Don't want to mess it up. Okay. So I want to have it exactly. I want all the wings. Let me move this up. Ooh, precise. Look at me being precise. The heck is this? Okay. Here's the pencil. Pencil, pencil, pencil. <laughs> Linda, her mom cussed like a sailor. Oh, my mom's mom cussed like a sailor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can't draw a straight line. I'm going to leave a little extra in case the door get up. Okay. Okay. I'm glad you're on here with me, Colleen, because it's really hard to, like, so watch chat and talk. Hard to do anything watch chat. It really is. It's, a, it's, well about, it's the hard part about streaming. <laughs> <laughs> I say I think my grandma cussed, but she like didn't, um, you know, she didn't do it all the time. I'm sure she did when she was mad. She was married three times, so <laughs> I have no doubt she didn't. She okay. cussed. <laughs> <laughs> she must. She had to have. <laughs> I just didn't. Uh, like I said, I just didn't meet any of the uh, of the men. What made you guys get into mixed media? Um, that's Tanya's asking. I started, I, I was, I, I've always done crafts and then I did a lot of scrapbooking, but what I found was I was more designing the stuff to put on my pages instead of just doing the pages. And I found art journaling every day and that kind of brought me into the mixed media world. What about you, Colleen? I would say that is also true. Um, 
I'd done everything when I was younger, my uh, paint by numbers, the Play-Doh, coloring, um, the making the pot holders and any of that stuff. And then I went, when I was in high school, I learned to cross stitch and sew on the sewing machine and home ec. And then, um, then I started doing scrapbooks of Tom and I, we were dating, it was my first scrapbook I did. And, um, and then basically I'd say then I tried plastic canvas. I was doing some of that. We were making, um, Tom and I were also painting houses, like wood houses, Halloween houses, and I had Christmas houses. And then I found some pre-printed fabric and I sewed a manger scene. Um, and you, like you, you cut them out and you stuff and you sew them together and stuff them. And then the bottom would be flat. And I had like that because I, I didn't have to worry about like in my daughter hurting them. So I made uh, a manger scene and things like that. And then I bridged off of that. I try to say I took some time off because I had young kids drive me crazy. And then, um, then I took, went into scrapbooking when my kids were in elementary school. And then after that, um, my kids got older. Let's face it, they get older, they're busy, they're less cute. So then I got I decided <laughs> to do some stuff for myself. And then I started watching YouTube for uh, you know other ideas. And then I found Paula who was doing mixed media. And then um, that's when I knew I could incorporate my scrapbooking paper love and learn how to paint and you know, make it all work together. Cause after a point I just got, I mean, I wanted to keep doing stuff, but my kids weren't doing anything, you know, that much. I mean, I did like with her first job and all that good stuff, but you know, and um, things like that. But yeah, and I wanted to keep up with it. And then I found Paula on there and I started doing mixed media with her. And she was really the first person, honestly, to learn from mixed media about. And then I got my Stasic dyes and did all that and just kind of sprouted from there. My first, I could say my first scrapbook page was terrible. Oh, it was terrible. Even when I first started scrapbooking, it was awful. And then it got better and better and better. And as I, you know, kept up with it. And, um, and then basically went from there. Mixed media, I haven't looked back. Like, I have not looked back. So probably like just a basic love of trying different things and be able to put all those different things together. Yeah, one thing, oh, thanks, Devin. Thanks for asking, Tanya. Yeah, one thing growing, going from another. And I think, yeah, and I think it was just like, and I felt like that I was really like, I love with the idea of the, of using, you know, I was scrapbooking, but I wasn't using paint in my scrapbooking then you know and then i got you know the idea of playing with paint and using the stencils i had and using the paper i had and making something new just for me because my kids were getting older working jobs boyfriends you know getting their own life and i needed to you know have my own and that's where it went off I, i'd say that a lot of people started with scrapbooking i was watching a video actually i think this might work nice here um so if i'm going to cut now i'm going to cut this part away i was watching uh ray um make, i never came out pronounce messinger messinger and she was saying on a thing that she started with uh do she has a lot of kids so she was doing scrapbooking and then she went from scrapbooking and then she started doing acrylic paints and you know mark making and then and our journaling and kind of planner stuff and then to now she's going and trying watercolor so she was talking about her her journey and hers was you know the big part of it was scrapbooking and her kids and stuff so okay i just you know what this is like for me this is like doodling with fabric and thread instead of paper and and pen i don't know if that makes sense to anybody but that's they'll put they'll put 
that zipper roller on her butt. What? Put that zipper roller on her butt. Don't put the zipper roller. Oh, have it off centered from her butt. Two. Well, I don't get it. No one's going to think that because her butt's here. That would be her legs. Only Eileen. <laughs> I was not looking at this in a, and that, I was not looking at this in that manner. <laughs> oh my God, Eileen. Maybe put it off. You could actually like put it off to the left and have it kind of curve around, like curve around her thigh and up. Okay, let me try that. Let me fussy cut out her head a little bit now. It's easier to cut now. She's glued onto the paper. I can get in there now and kind of fussy cut her face out without having to worry about cutting off her It might look like something's just sticking between her legs. That's what uh, Jane said. Oh. <laughs> oh, bye, Janet. Have fun at lunch. Bye, Janet. Enjoy your pizza. Pizza sounds really good. Oh, also, Rosemary, if you're lurking, thank you for uh, bringing, giving us, it's giving us the idea to do this. I'm really enjoying this. Agree. I appreciate that too. No one likes it like this. No, can you, okay, can you like kind of drag it over to your left, just the bottom? And then my paper don't match. No, not the, not the whole thing, just the zipper, like bend it. Bend it, so it's like a, a backwards J. Or to the right. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of, yeah, so it just kind of comes like that. And it doesn't have to be like the V can be, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. Like over there and then have one go up and then one go over. And then bring the one on the left over towards the right more. There, okay, or there. All right, that looks good. And cut off of half her body. <laughs> okay. I was being exact. Who knew? Okay. So we're going to do that. All right. Yeah. Make it more like free flowing. <laughs> there. Free flowing. I didn't even notice the butt crack. Thing. <laughs> I didn't either. I was not. Yeah. I was not looking at that. <laughs> Everyone else was looking at that apparently. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm glad I didn't do this office stream. So I surely, I sure did not notice that. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was all busy. I wish I would have seen that sooner. I'm like cutting all this paper away to line it up in a V. Uh oh, what's going on here? Oh, you're getting, uh, you're going to get her kit, Rosemary's fabric kit. Yeah. Uh, where am I? Here we go. I was talking to Tanya. I meant. Devin thought it looked good how it was. <laughs> Devin think he thought it was fine. <laughs> See, we didn't have any. Weird thoughts. I was just thinking, you know, it's like she's popping out, I don't know, out of zipper. I don't know. I just didn't think anything of it. Now y'all got me paranoid. <laughs> I don't want to get any weird comments on Instagram, more or less. Okay, leave it to Eileen. So what else does my page need? I have another girl, I, I'm over here fussy cutting. 
a napkin. I could put this up. I could yeah, put some more butterflies. In. Might separate these two. I could add some more butterflies over here. Hoping you can't see. I keep moving it up and down so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, so off center. No butt crack. Yeah, avoid the butt crack. And I'm supposed to bend this and glue. Okay, let me do that real quick. Go look, Eileen. I got a fabric tacket. Hold on, it's not wanting to stay. You need to stay. Hold on. That does look better with this rolled under. I will, I do admit that. That looks better with it rolled under. Let me grab a clip. Let me see. I cut those out the other day. Yeah. clip. Hold on. I'm just going to lay my scissors on. Stay. So this is kind of fun. You just draw out okay, where you get the from. Huh? I think she's asking where I got the butterflies from. Were these from Nikki? Those might have been. I've seen so many different napkins lately. I can't remember where they all come from. I think it was Nikki. The disorganized crafter. I think that's where I got these. She had a whole bunch of butterfly napkins, and um, I purchased from her. She had a napkin sale, and um, and I bought a bunch from her. I'm thinking it's Nikki, because I got like a yeah, like she had like purple and uh, blue ones and all sorts of. Fun ones. I bought butterflies. I bought mostly butterflies and girls. Or here's the other thing I could do. Or or the one I had started to do. I could put her on the other side with the other zipper. Or it might be too much. Let's see. So no, was I think she needs her own page, that lady with the hat. <laughs> She's pretty. Let's say I'm gonna do her. I got the black zipper and I got the Pink paper and a flowery napkin. Yeah, yeah, that, she okay. needs her own page. All right, she's too, she's too much. <laughs> Just a bunch of uh, butterflies flying around. Let's do that. See, that's why I need someone to stream with me. Ah, see, that's what you don't want to do. Um, keep me in line here. Is anyone else going to try napkin layering like this? It's cool, right? Oh, Devin said your cream rickrack from Laura would be nice as a border. Oh, yeah, this is cream. Wouldn't that be perfect? Thanks, Devin. Oh, yeah. Thank you. It will be. That's a really good idea. Oh, that does look good there. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you. That's perfect. Yeah, put this. I got to <laughs> repair. Oh, my fingers are so sticky. Okay. I tell you what. Oh, I got to remember. Hold on before I get too carried away. I got to remember the bottom's going to be cut off. Um, Oops. The Avery glue is very, 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 very sticky. So if you're looking for a very sticky glue stick, the Avery glue stick is super sticky. Oh, good to know. Yeah, I know there's everyone has their favorites and stuff, but I picked this up at my grocery store and it is sticky. Like right now my fingers are so sticky. It's sticky, sticky glue stick. Now it's like any glue stick. I mean, on occasion you're gonna have to like, you know, stick something back down, but for the most part for for a glue stick, it's really good. Like like Laura says. A glue stick is you're fighting it to get it down, but then you're if you mess up, you're really glad you can pull it back up. <laughs> so it's a lovely, 
It's a love hate with the glue stick. Yeah. And I, I definitely agree with that. Yeah, it does give you, you more positioning time. So more on the rick rack. So who said so on the rick rack? <laughs> Yes, yeah, slow stitch the Rick Rat, Colleen. There you go. Slow stitch it. Ooh, it's going to cough a big chunk. That's all right. I guess it'll look natural that way. She did this earlier. And I'm not going to try to pull that butterfly off because it's definitely not going to. It's going to tear. Hold on. Should have done this earlier. I didn't think I was going to be sticking stuff in the corners. <laughs> but I did. If I sew the rick rack down the middle, I have black thread on my machine. I don't think that's going to look good. They have a black line running down the, the rick yeah. rack. And I'm not going to try to change that while I'm streaming. I just keep black or, you know, I don't know if I have any white bobbins done. That's pretty much all I stitch with Oops. on my sewing machine. So I could go across the top, high across the top, maybe. We'll lay it there. We'll look at it. If I glue this down. And I'm gonna glue, I'm gonna have to actually I'm gonna glue this. I'm gonna cut some of her off. How am I gonna do this? Okay. I'm gluing it off to the side. So let me attach that. Then I'm gonna have to cut some of the paper off. All right, glue, glue, glue. Don't look, Eileen. It's going to be all right. <laughs> it's going to be all right, I promise. <laughs> She's going to look good. No one will never know I glued it, except everybody watching. <laughs> She's just wishing she was on StreamYard right now yelling at me. <laughs> I know. You should have stayed, Eileen. You should have stayed. <laughs> you have a headache now. <laughs> she just wishes she would have stayed on. She could keep yelling at me. So the damn thing on. <laughs> I like I'm, I like fabric tack. It's a mixed media's friend. I agree. I'm sorry. I agree too, Colleen. <laughs> <laughs> I like stitching on paper too. I mean, you know, and that's you uh -huh. know not the norm, right? So we already do that. Okay, so there she is. Ooh, she looks really cool. It was a little bit of work, but it was worth it. All right, so there she is. To go here. All right, there's, so then I'm not gonna glue her down yet. Let's see. Now I could also add some sort of cream oh. lace. Devin asked if you had another wing you could attach coming out of the zipper over on that. Oh, the part I cut off? Right-hand side. No. On top. So you so it blocks part of the zipper. Oh. Yes, so it looks it. like it's sticking out from the zipper. Yeah, one more. She's got a hole on the one side, but we're good because it's a hole on the left. So we're good. That was from one, the tape. Okay, that's a good idea. What did I do?
So like this. Is it okay if the zipper shows through the wing? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. So one's like on the outside and one's on the outside. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, there's some of the alien bug. Okay, cut off some of the alien bug here. <laughs> Is it Sheldon who was afraid of butterflies? Was it Sheldon? That it sounds like a Sheldon thing. Yeah. I thought he was afraid of, I know he's afraid of birds, and I thought he was afraid of butterflies, too. Because if somebody was on TV, I thought it was hilarious because they look like aliens or whatever, and they, and they zoomed in on the, the like the actual alien part of the bug and uh, no i didn't i was i thought of that eileen as i was doing it i did not snap the thread and there was a difference oh mm -hmm. it got caught up in the back eileen could have stayed here and yelled at you i know i know she can have a field day with both of us yeah um also the this thread is very silky and smooth so it does it seems to pop out of the needle easily oh that is perfect thank you so much Devin. look at her so i'm glad i didn't glue her down yet that's perfect. Oh, cute so now it's offset of her rear end <laughs> and we got the wing i had to cut off because i hated cutting off the extra wing perfect uh, it is perfect. Okay, let's see if I can see. That's the fun part of having everybody here. It is the fun part because everyone's got good ideas. Okay, do those little threader things work? I am <laughs> there. I got it through. I think I got it through. Come on, there. It would be more interesting if I glued the rick rack on the top of the zipper okay now where Maybe it makes it look more interesting let's see if i got enough here she gave me i think she gave me okay. boom oh i do have enough except i'm gonna run it underneath her wing oh thank you nana I'm going to glue the right rack here. Stay. I want that to get caught on that. That there. That there. Right there. It's sticky gooey. I will say when you get the strings, it's probably the worst part about the the rick rack is the is the stringy stringy glue stuck on you. But it reminds me of hot glue more or less. You know, because the hot glue gets all stringy. Yeah. So that looks good. I should be pulling off of here when I'm gluing. Oh, I found out on the floor. <laughs> Remember, I was looking for the girl. She blew yeah. off the floor. Oh, and I got another butterfly. Oh, good. Oh, okay. cool. <laughs> she was on the stair beds on the floor. Okay. So I guess at one o'clock is your class with Kathy. So you. Yeah, I'm gonna go in a few minutes. Yeah. I just now I'm doing this. I'm like I want to finish it up, but what I'm gonna do. I'm finishing up the center, but I also, I want to put a white border around the square. So I'll post a picture after it's done. Eileen and Kathy are taking, I, I'm sorry, Eileen. Yeah, Eileen and Kathy are taking Cass's class. I say that way. But... Oh, is Eileen taking it too? Yeah. Oh, Lena too. Yeah, Eileen signed up yesterday. Remember, she upgraded cool. during the stream. Ooh, very fun, Eileen. Okay, she's, she's so here we go. So Eileen and Lena and you and uh, Tanya, are you signed up for it too? T 
Tanya or Candy or somebody else, I think. I really can remember. She's trying to remember that yesterday. I had no I, I had no idea. Okay, so here's my flat. Here's what I did. I've got three layers of fabric. I did the flower here, and I think what I want to do is go around the edge of the square and do a straight stitch around there. And I think I'll just make this like a little sampler, do something different in each of the squares. Uh, Eileen said she's just going to watch. I will just watch. It's a good, you'll learn a lot. I mean, you'll have, if you work along with her, you'll end up with a finished piece after a couple hours. Yeah, she goes so, fast. I'd say she probably moves faster than I would. I'd probably be catching up. That's true with most classes I take. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to call this Eileen made me do it. I had no intention of doing this today, but I'm glad I did once again. That looks cute. Look at her sticking through this. She had planned on. I it. love that, Colleen. This is was winging it. Haha, -ha, winging it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you should call it. You should put winging it up in the for words. I like it. I, I'm going to call this winging it. I think that's perfect. That should be. Oh, thanks, Nash. That should be. I'll change my thing. Thanks, CB. It was fun. I'll get my black stickers out. I'm a little black Tim Holt stickers and put winging it on here. Yeah. Are you going to stay on, Colleen? So um, I'm going to stay on for a little bit and finish this up and I'll leave because I got to take the Smokey to get his nails trimmed oh, okay. at 30 so I can stay on for a little bit longer. Uh, okay, fun. I'll go back and watch the rest of it later, but this was fun. Thank you. You're welcome. Have fun at the class. Yeah, I will. I will. And I love I love your zipper girl. <laughs> Thank you. I like her too. Thank I'm glad that everybody was here to help. She's, Devin, so she's got all kinds of good ideas. I wouldn't have thought to add another wing on top. That was so smart. Nope, oh, let Devin said you can call it let your creativity fly. Ooh, I like it. Let your creativity yeah. fly. Yeah. All right. I'll talk to you later, Colleen. All bye. Right, bye. Have fun. Bye. All righty. Bye. I will dip out. I want her to miss her class. She does play along with her. Call it caught on the call it caught on the fly. <laughs> caught on the fly. <laughs> oh, I get it. Caught on the fly. <laughs> Zipper fly. Oh my god. <laughs> That's really good. I have to admit I wouldn't have come up with that. <laughs> You couldn't resist, could you? Caught on the fly. Oh my gosh. Were you lurking earlier? Did you working? Did you see the all the, the farm stuff that I got from Jersey? I called it a farm kit. She said it's happy meal, but I used a whole bunch of my cookbook. I'm making into a art a farm art journal, whatever. So yeah. Super stoked. I did a whole bunch of gluing in the beginning. I wasn't planning on, but I was like, oh, this will go here. This will go here. I'll be working on some more because obviously I got pages to put in it and stuff. But dinner's ready. Bye, Joan. Oh, we we're talking about the class with Cass. Cass Kathy, she, if you're a budding artist or whatever it is, it's like 20 bucks a month. You get, um, she does a, cla a live class with you once a month. And that's what Kathy was going to. Oh, yeah, that's right. Devin, yeah, Devin, uh, is right. Eileen came on here live and I snap thread live. What I will do, this woman gets me doing all kinds of stuff. She's so fun. 
trying to decide how if I want to use this one or not. If not, I'll have a cutout for another layout. Is it, I think I got to have that pink way over there. It's going to be too much pink otherwise. Maybe I'll have it halfway off. I think I'll put it halfway off. Ooh. Got to cut the ugly bug off. Watching and training. Oh, okay. Oh, thanks, Popo. Yeah, I love the rooster cookbook I found. And I was inspired by Kimberly's altered, uh, altered garden book that she has. Showed um, some pictures on Twitter. And she took a garden book and filled it with pages and made an altered journal. So I was like, oh, that was so cool. And then I went out and I saw the cookbook. I'm like, I'm going to copy Kimberly. I'm going to have a altered book. At least mine's a cookbook. It's a slightly different, but I would do a garden book too. I think that was good. At the, ah, I think that was a good idea. Careful. Don't do what I just did. Told you it's a sticky glue stick. It's sticky, sticky. You want a sticky one? This is it. Avery is it is sticky. Sticking my fingers. There's a lot of glue sticks out there, but I'm just saying this one. I just got it because I needed a glue stick and I needed some, and I had them at my grocery store, and I didn't have to drive any further to to go look for one and it was perfect. And uh, I've been buying them ever since. I know you don't Twitter. You heard someone bitching? <laughs> yeah, that was Arlene. She's making, she was, the, she was determined she was going to make us do that. Uh, it was really, it's really odd, but it does make a difference with the thread. It does make it straighter. It really does. It does make it straighter. So, oh, actually, I'm going to put it there. Woo! I'll put this one here. Okay, I got to be careful here. I don't tear it. Getting, it's where I'm tearing is where it's sticking my fingers, and that's where I'm getting in trouble. This is all, it's, yeah, I better glue this down. It's all glue stick. No matte medium or any of that. Just all napkins. The only thing it's not a napkin was that I used paper behind her, but everything else is all napkins. The whole, the whole thing's done on, with napkins. And that was the only paper. Napkins upon napkins upon napkins. How cool is this? This is a fun book. I mean, I, I made a ton of these. I'll be working on napkin journals for probably next three years. <laughs> I made a ton of uh, pages. And they made me move her over. Eileen did. Eileen made me move her over. And Hold on, I'm gonna do this. And you gotta move. Come on. Come on. You can come up. Gentle, 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 gentle. Okay, she can't okay. It's okay. There we go. All right. Oh, thanks for the link. Yeah, the, I said it is it is very good glue stick. I recommend it. I'm, but I'm sure everyone else, like I said, everyone has their favorites. But I'm just saying this is, it's it's pretty sticky. And it's so sticky, I had to be really careful with these napkins because, yeah, it's wanting to tear. Cut the bug off. We just want the wings. Let's 
taking me a while to do this, but it's turning out really cute. I'm going to add the quote on. I had a quote on here, too. I said I saw the, and I saw this idea from Cage Fish. So kudos, her coming up with this. I love this napkin. I really, I just, I use the entire napkin on here. This, I really need another. This, I need this napkin in my life, right? I need another one. I like it how I love the the clear one. I love this white one too. I need. I need to talk to Nikki, see if she has any more of these. So I ordered the uh, native girl from her. She is a great, she is a great backstage driver. Mm, she so is. She'll miss a trick. We mess up, man. She's, she's on it. She don't miss a trick. It's a little too high. It says it's a love and hate relationship with glue sticks. You want it sticky, but you want to be able to move it. Blah blah blah. All right. And Jersey said that. I thought that was really good. I've never heard anyone say that, but it's the truth. It is a love hate. Bye, Helen. Thank you for modding. Thank you for being here. Yeah, get some tea. There you go. She's out of tea. Oh, I like that. So there you go. Got her hanging over. Cut that one in half. So they're hanging on the zipper. Added the cream, the cream rick rack. Great idea, Devin. That looks really good on there. Got the butterflies in the corner. We got this one bomb diving. I just need to add, get a uh, pen and add some. I left his body, but he's going to need, these guys need some uh, little thingies I cut off. <laughs> Whatever those are called. Okay, let me get my, where's my Tim Holt sticker? All right. Hold on, I'm digging through my black and white basket. This is where I put them. Looking through my basket here. I have a basket of black and white stuff. And that's something else I need to work on too. I got to think, like I've been dragging this out. I got to work on my black and white journal. I've been gathering and gathering and gathering. Now it's time I, I just work on it. All right. Now it's in here. Where is it? I'm digging, so don't leave. <laughs> don't leave. I'm hurrying. Oh, I hate. I can't find what I'm looking for. I had some black cute. They look like uh, typewriter font. They were typewriter font stickers that I have. I don't know. I wanted to make my own. I want to do my own quote. Let me glance. Let me glance over here. My other file. I want to make my own quote. That it's putting. Oh, here they are. Woo, found them. Yay, found them. Okay. So what was the quote we were gonna do? We were gonna do uh, winging it or something. Oh, thank you, Devin. Because we talked about that one time, and then, um, and then I thought if I ever come across them, like a big group at a yard sale, I'm gonna get them, and I did. I have black and pink and white, and I don't remember other colors, but a whole bunch of these for like a dollar or less. So this is gonna be cool, and then do another one. I gotta do another one. 
because this is going to look like the bomb, right, with her. So, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm going to keep this, and that way I have lots of my napkin. I send a picture to Nikki and say, do you have any more of these? <laughs> Add this to my order. I ordered a Native American stencil that she used to do a really pretty canvas with, and I ordered that for the Native American and uh, journal we're doing in November, or I'm sorry, October. Okay, what was it? It was going to be, oh, let, just winging it, let the creativity fly. Which one is, I could, wonder if I could use both. I like both. Okay, nice thing about these, these would be really easy to pull up and move around if we're not happy with them. So I pull it out of the book. All right, I can straighten them out later. We're just going to put them on here just to get them on here. So I'm going to have to use tweezers. Okay, let's see if these are too small or not. Creativity fly. Or unleash the beast. <laughs> unleash the beast. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the stickers on a ruler trick that Dee Dee does to get these lined up, I think. Should be doing it while I'm talking, so just sticking them on there. Where am I clear one? We'll just use this one. to have a flat thin ruler but I don't know oh, I guess I got rid of it oh ah, hold on I probably have to glue stick these down before it's all over with but keep them from falling off especially since I've touched them and moved them around now okay it's gonna be the hard part lining them up I guess I could have it all wonky, unless I make it look purposely wonky. Oh my God. Okay, it's where I want to curse. Don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> think rosemary ever gets that point ever with anything that she like gets like she's gonna cuss i don't know how that happens but it does happen to me a lot i need i need that more patience oh thank you cb like create it they are really small and i'm just like it, they're gonna look good on here but yeah i'm getting a little mm. Trying to get these on here right. Nope. To help us spell it right. <laughs> oh my God. This is fun. I enjoyed this. Thanks everybody for coming today. This is fun to do. I we got a page done and we also started working in my farm book with unplanned fun my happy meal and kathy did her stitching today when that was fun i think it, we had a variety of things for everybody to watch and we had a visit from eileen so i would consider this a good stream good day 
a bandit got his uh, nails done yesterday and he had to get an allergy shot in addition to the allergy meds they already take he's doing so much better he's not he was miserable it it just miserable the fall is when he gets to break out and uh he's not itching he's not chewing and uh chewing and all that good stuff now so um i'm trying to but well, that didn't work it's you know all that work it's not gonna work because it's too thick someone's probably already said that to me i'm glad you had a day off too devin really i mean you have so many good ideas i hope you get your camera working soon and you can stream too hope you figure out the software issues and um, I look forward to seeing your tags. She's going to make a video of her tags. And the tags are due the 13th. I've got a bunch to do. So that's what I need to be working on. I've got one done. <laughs> and then we'll start our fabric. But I can do this. I just got to get in the rhythm, right? You just got to get in the rhythm. So if I want to use like um, distress oxide pads, oh lordy, I want to make you all sit here through this. I can't can't get this on here the way I want. And it's driving me crazy and it's me doing it. Okay, we're going to just put it on there wonky and I'm going to get some tweezers and I'm going to fold this off the stream. Okay, so everyone's going to be like, holy crap. And it's getting any more boring. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I understand. But thanks for like just talking and coming in and hanging out with us when you're busy and you're and your lunch. We appreciate it. Kathy does too. We understand. It's hard. It's hard when you're working. And I'm on here for hours too. So I mean we can only have lunch hours for hours, right? All right, I'm gonna leave this. So I'm going crazy. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna do this offline so I don't lose my mind and make y'all sit there. Okay, it's gonna be let creativity fly. Whenever I'm gonna put this on straighter and better. And uh, I consider this page done. It's all napkins except for the paper behind her napkins and the rickrack was from jersey and this is a yard sale find and this will go in my book that was fun and i'll work on another one so thanks for uh your patience and your help today oh i'm glad you had fun nancy so get your napkins out and layer them up it's it's fun it really is see you guys later on have a good afternoon, and I'll see you on the web somewhere. Bye, everybody.